Evening, hope you're doing all right. I've got to fix my webcam because uh, I, re I remember I had to restart my computer. It was looking fine before, and now suddenly it's just bloody gone into autofocus. There we go, that's better. That's better. So anyway, how are you getting on tonight? Hope you're having a good one. Uh, tonight I'm going to play... Um, I'm going to start playing Fallout 3. Um, I, obviously, I started kind of Morrowind the other day, and I, was, I just thought it's not quite... I don't feel quite totally comfortable streaming that. At least at the moment. However, what I am going to do is stream Fallout 3. Yes. Uh, what I've done with Fallout 3 as well is I've gone and had a look on some of the kind of uh, mods that are available for it to kind of just make things a bit more interesting. And um, what I've done is I've added something that gives us loads of extra perks. Um, extra perks that do all sorts of other different things. And... Uh, you know, so some extra stuff. What I also did, because I added, I think it was something ridiculous, like 70 extra perks into the game or something, I've also added another one which lets us take two perks per level. So it means we should be able to get a lot of those and hopefully have a bit of a bit of fun with that um, see how it goes. I've tried everything beforehand. Everything seems to be in there okay without too many problems. I've also put like an unofficial patch which is supposed to kind of just smooth things out a little bit. And so yeah, we're going to play Fallout 3. Um, obviously, with regard to the in-game music, we can't really play any of that. Uh, so with the radio stations, we're going to stay away from the ones that are playing music, I guess. We'll see how that all goes. But anyway, um, we're going to play Fallout 3. We're going to dive straight into it now. The only thing I'm slightly concerned about with playing this, uh, and I also have to make sure it comes up, is let's turn this master volume back up, because I turned it up down so that the... So what we're going to do is we're going to turn down the in-game music and we're going to put the radio stations up to about, I don't know, there. Because we do need it for some of the other recordings and things that are available in the game. Uh, and we're going to, as I say, I started a game earlier just to try and make sure that it was all working okay. And it was. So we're going to start a brand new game of Fallout 3. A brand new game of Fallout 3. And we'll see how it goes. I don't know how we're going to play it yet. We'll just play it by ear a bit, I suppose. But this is what we're doing. We do need to watch out for some of the music. Unfortunately, we don't get a choice about that music. And hello, Lynn. How are you? What I have done is put like an ambient audio soundtrack on in the background. But it might be a bit quiet, we'll see. How are you getting on? Arguably I shouldn't be watching this bit because we'll probably get destroyed for this music. But if I skip it, I think we end up missing important stuff. I might be wrong. So I'm just going to skip that introductory sequence. Just because there's a concern about the music. Good to hear it. Hope things uh, hope things have been going well. Hopefully you've been feeling a bit better and has the temperature dropped to, to a decent level for you? We have to decide our we've got to create our character first, so we'll just go with that. And we've got to make a character that looks I don't know. Some particular way. We'll have to pick a name for him too. I'll have to pick a name for the character too. I might have to turn the game up a touch. Hang on a sec. I'm just going to turn the audio up just a touch. There we go. Hopefully that's a bit better. Look at you. Hi there. Can your dad so I've got some ambient music on in the background because we basically have to, to turn off the music from the game. You finished two talking. stars today and when weighing and putting away the beads they dropped six grams of beads on the floor. We've got to enter a character name. Should we just be called player name? Just just as a... What are we going to call ourselves? Um, I don't know. Uh, do 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 do. I feel like we want to give ourselves like a ridiculous name, but I don't really know what I want to call myself. Let's just call him like, um, I don't know. 
Do you know what? We'll just go with uh We'll just go with that. We'll just go with that. It's a good name, don't you think? Fits you perfectly. It does. It fits me perfectly. You're right. So this is uh, what I'm going to look like when I'm all grown up. So I can add things like facial hair and all sorts of stuff to this. I don't know how they know what your particular choices for uh, hair growth are. Um, but let's have a look. Got to pick a face. It's not going to be someone that looks like us. At least I don't think it will be. Let's go with uh, let's go with that guy. Give her the task of hoovering the beads into a sock, then sorting the beads from the dirt and the dust. Oh yeah, that'd be a nightmare to try and work through. I would thought I would have thought. So we can have a heavy face or a light face. It looks like we're pulling we're pulling ourselves drawing ourselves in quite a bit there. We could be like I have a giant head, but I don't really know that I want to have that to be honest. What happens if we just put it in the middle? The middle looks okay. Give ourselves a giant, a big forehead. Or a tiny forehead. I don't know what I want. That'll do. I don't really feel the need to mess with a lot of this too much. Um, can I kind of just raise our eyebrow area? Low. Uh, can we have the inner part down and the upper part up? So we can have like eyebrows like that. I don't know. Not really. We can make our eyes go down or up. We don't want to mess around too much with with the way the eyes are going to be. To be honest, as I say, I'm not overly concerned. We could make give them like a. Very. Do we want this? I don't know. That seems a bit much, doesn't it? That seems a bit much. While she was doing that, you went back to weigh some beads you put away in a bag. In a box ten minutes earlier, and the bag had not one, but six holes in it. Oh god. I don't know what I'm doing here. Let's do that. Do you know what that'll do? I don't really mind. You can look like that. Mouth. Do we want a large mouth or a small mouth? I feel like we probably want it to be somewhere in the middle. Why do, do I have to have some amount of overbite? I can't... Do you know what that'll do? It doesn't matter. Cheeks. Let's have... I don't know. That doesn't seem to be making a great deal of difference. Let's do that. And let's also have a concaved... Yeah, okay. I'm not going to mess around too much with that. Uh, we can also adjust so that we're a bit paler, maybe. Given that we're a person living in a, in a bunker underground, I feel like we probably wouldn't be particularly tanned. So that why you've lost all the... It was like it was disintegrating in front of your eye. Oh my god, so the bag was just falling to bits. Do we want to be flushed? I'd rather not be flushed if that's alright with you. I could change the eyebrow colour. Or the eyebrow area, anyway. And that as well, but that doesn't really matter. We'll have brown eyes. No, 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 don't, don't randomise my head. If I randomised my head, it'd be all over the place. Uh, hairstyle wise. I was going to go for that. I'm going to go for that one. Hair colour. Let's be like that. There we go. You put the beads in ten minutes before, and now suddenly there's a million holes appeared in it. God, that's annoying. Uh, what facial hair do we want? We could have, like, a big beard. Nah. I feel like I want maybe that one. Also have shaggy sideburns. Have like a thing there, but Abraham Lincoln sort of thing. I don't know which. What do we really want? The Machiavellian thing. 
A wee chin dust inched a wee bit of hair on the chin. To be honest, I think I'm probably going to go... Touch of salt, so we soul patch there. Nah. We're going with that. Well, actually, let me just check. There's two that I kind of think are probably the one I want to go for. The dead man's hand. A grizzled samurai, maybe. Let's go with the... Uh, go with that one. The tash that turns into some massive, like, chopped off mutton chops, I don't know. Do I want this to be my character? Yes. So they know I'm going to look like that. I'm going to have massive sideburn, -y, a massive beard, massive moustache. As a baby. It's amazing. You put the beads in 10 minutes before and then a ton of holes like immediately afterwards. That's really weird. What was it, like a plastic bag? Something's happening. It was like a plastic bag which is falling apart or... Come on. Hang on, Catherine. Hang nah. on. We're going to get a couple of these before the game kind of starts properly. There's a couple of moments where it gets quite bright for a minute. So we start the game as a baby and we have to walk about. Tiny Ziploc bags. All right. Over here. I'm coming. All right. There you go. All right, Dad. What's Thank up? Goodness, just a year old and already walking like a pro. Well, I don't think he's Your walking like a pro, is he? So proud. Stars in the Discord. Listen, kiddo, I know you don't like it when Daddy leaves Let's you. Have alone. a wee look. Let's have a wee look. Let's have a wee look at that. Oh yeah, those are nice. Oh, those are good. Just two sort of the same thing. You're going to be well prepared for uh, for for the with the Christmas crafts. Well prepared with the Christmas crafts for people. But I need you to take care of yourself for a minute. You just stay here. Don't lock me in this. Oi! Okay, Don't lock me in this thing. We got uh, Tommy Pickles this shit. Play a bit of football first. Is that a goal? Those are orders. Ah, right, so those are ones people have kind of said they want for Christmas. Ready for Christmas. Jump. Jump. Ah, I can't get up there. I want to try and get up on that. Let's get in there and get the teddy bear. Yes, get in the toy box. I've got to pick up this book. Da -da. Da -da. <laughs> okay, so we've got to basically pick our... Um, our stats um, which is a variety of stuff we're gonna go with strength here we're gonna go see I'm trying to think what I want is probably uh, usually with these games it's a it's a sneaking sort of build that I tend to do so but let's also add endurance so we've got a bit of uh, a bit of health that'll do you can also mess with that with the perks and stuff like that as well so it's a Revelations quote. It's a quote from Revelations. There we go, we're up on a chair. No. No, Dad, leave me alone. I'm busy. You are quite the little explorer, aren't you? Aye. Right for trying to da da. Come on <laughs> over here. I want to show you something. See that? It was your mother's favorite passage. It's his mother's favorite passage? In these games, it tends to be. I am Alpha and Omega. In these games, I tend to do all right with it. I will give unto him that is a thirst at the fountain of the water of life freely. He always loved that. All right, come on, let's go see if you. But we'll see how that turns out. This is the kind of game I could end up spending forever playing as well tonight. So I'm hoping I'll finish at the right time, but there's a chance I might not. It's gonna. The screen's gonna go white again. I think just now. There we go. Nine years later. Just got to grow through our childhood first. It's my birthday. Happy birthday. 
Happy birthday! A sign up there says, hard work is happy work. Have you taken your medication today? The outside world can never hurt you. Of course it can. Procreation is your civic duty, it says on that sign in the background. No, because it's my birthday, but not yours. Safety first. Are you ready to take on your first official vault responsibility? So at 10 years old, we're ready to take on our official responsibilities. I hereby present to you your very own Pip-Boy 3000. Get used to This is where we can get into our inventory, look at the map and all that other stuff. I'll be getting my first... No, mate. Enjoy your party. You'll be getting your first punch in the face. Happy birthday! We really surprised you, didn't we? So did they surprise us with a birthday party? If everyone gets a birthday party, did they surprise us? I told him not to worry. You're so easy to fool. They all live in a bunker somewhere. How would they not know? How do you how do you organize a surprise party in a bunker? When everyone lives on top of each other, basically. Is this it? Or hasn't the real so party started yet? And it isn't my fault that Pitch and Wally are here. Your dad said we had to invite. What kind of party is this? We're just standing about. Time for your Enter presents. the bake off, Luke. What Bunt cakes only. Go on, try to guess. Um, I have no idea. Ha! I knew I surprised you. Who's your favorite barbarian? Conan. That's right, Grognak. Conan's my favorite barbarian. And with no, no missing pages. I found this in a box. They didn't nick the pages. It's good. Believe it or not, imagine him reading comic books. <laughs> I guess everybody was ten once. Well, Most people, yeah. I better let you get back to mingling with your guests. Unless they're under 10, we'll in which case, later, obviously, okay? they didn't, they didn't get Happy to birthday. 10 yet. Oh, man, you got a pit boy. I did oh, die. But I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna read this wee, uh, I'm just gonna read this wee book. Uh, which is there. Because it gives me a little bit of a boost. I was 10. In my melee weapon skill. He wishes he was 10. I wish I was 10. No, you don't. Enjoying yourself? All right, pal. Happy birthday, Sonny. All right, cheers. Thanks for the happy birthday messages. This I is the overseer. He's in charge. Put into this party. She really seems to like you, for some reason. Well, he doesn't seem very happy, does he? She did a great job, but couldn't you have helped out a bit more? I do not allow the fact that Amara <laughs> is my daughter to compromise. You've not got me a much better party. Overseer. Invited some celebrities and all, all sorts of stuff. Appropriate paternal <laughs> encouragement, of course, but I could not contribute extra vault resources. That is simply what my position requires. No more, no less. I know a A very even-handed overseer, perhaps. Oh, we'll see about that. Attention, Are you right? having a nice party? Ten years old. My, my, my. Ten Seems years like old. Only yesterday that your daddy came. Pardon? Goodness, listen to me, <laughs> Excuse me? You're waiting for your present, aren't what? you? What? <laughs> I'm waiting for my present. Oh, you didn't have to bring me a present. Fiddlesticks. What ten-year-old doesn't like I'll, 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 I'll gloss over what she said there. Believe it or not, <laughs> my goodness, the vault was practically crowded back then. Not practically, like today. yeah. So few young people now. But here I am, rambling on again, and you listening so politely. Yeah, give me a present. Here you go, a nice sweet roll that nice. I baked for you just this morning. A sweet roll. And it's all for you. No sharing required today. No sharing today. Right, cut that cake then, pal. With your buzzsaw blade. Cheers for that, mate. Oh, you got another cake. You got another cake there somewhere. Crappy birthday, more like. Having a good time? It wasn't easy keeping this a secret. Now go on. I'm sure everyone else would like a chance to talk to the birthday. You're probably right. That stupid robot destroyed the cake. He's hungry. Give me that sweet roll you got from old lady. Go away, you prick. I bet we share it half for me, half for you. That's fair. You can have it. I don't even like sweet rolls. Sure, Butch. And then spit on it and give it to him. Go soak your head. I'm not giving you my sweet roll. Or you do look hungry. No, I'm not saying the bottom one because uh, there's no need for that. What, your mum drank up all the ration coupons again? Oh, let's not do that. Let's not be too cruel, but at the same time, we don't want to be nice to him. Miss Palmer said I didn't have to share since it's my birthday. How about we share it? You can have it. I don't even like sweet rolls. I, I keep gravitating towards sure booch and then spit on it. Mrs. Palmer said I didn't do that one. have to share. Who's talking about sharing, moron? I want the whole thing. 
Yeah. Now are you gonna give me that sweet roll, or am I gonna have to give you a knuckle sandwich? Is he gonna have to give me a knuckle sandwich? What do we think? There you go. Ugh, I don't want your nerd cootie. Let's spit on it and I'm hand it to him. Sorry you did that. <laughs> we'll see how tough you are later when the grown-ups aren't around. Will we? I. Fight him, hit him. Am I? We'll see. He is, isn't he? He's a wee prick. He's a wee prick. How are you doing? Balloons, party hats. <laughs> Not as cool as my party, though. Remember how my dad got Andy to do magic tricks? And <laughs> Good stuff. And we hunt the mutant in the atrium? Oh, right. Oh, I wasn't invited to this party. These guys are all Too pricks, bad, man. man. What have you been up to? Really fun. Have you been enjoying the new, um, the new uh, Dead by Daylight setup? What's he got to say? Hey, uh, thanks for inviting me. I, did, I didn't enjoy it yesterday, but I'm sure it'll get better. Butch and I give you a hard time, but you don't take that seriously. No, not at all, mate. Don't worry about it. I'm sure I won't take it seriously. I better get back to. It has made it really hard. Yeah, yeah. Such an idiot. I don't, just it's not been that bad, but the trouble is, I mean, I, I play a lot of solo queue games, you know, so it, it ends up being, uh, your dad's the overseer, can't you talk to him about Booch? Come on, don't ask me that. You know he would if I <laughs> asked, but where would that it's, It is a challenge, it's yeah, I found, the overseer's daughter. I suppose if a lot of the killers are probably trying to find their feet on it as well, you know, problem. but Nobody a lot of the games yesterday were very, me. um, we'll think of some way to get a lot of people back. chasing I'm straight off hooks. But I'm not getting my father involved. But as I say, I suppose a lot of people are still trying to find their feet on the whole thing. Now go on and enjoy yourself. Enjoying yourself? Thanks for coming. Am I enjoying myself? No, I'm not. Just a bunch of people sitting around. You're not getting any music or anything. I put some mods on this. Um, oh, we got to speak to. We got to speak to Stanley. I remember now. I hate it. How do I get off? <laughs> Why in the world would you want to do that? I hate it. Your pit boy's the but best shit. friend you'll ever have. <laughs> Besides, you can't get it off. Biometric seals, etc. What? Nobody told me that. Here, I, I didn't sign up for biometric seals. What's going on? Ah, uh, well, that's hardly a fit subject for a kid's birthday party. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. Pretty soon, you'll wonder how you ever got along without it. Probably. That's really interesting. Sure, whatever. Did you bring me anything for my birthday? Here I am, going on about your pit boy, and I clean for God. What's about my your present, present, mate? Here you go. Happy birthday. <laughs> we're going to be like a total prick to everyone. Like we're not We're not likely to come back here. Oh, we got a baseball cap, Luke. We got a baseball cap. So that's what we need. Stick it on her head. How are you hey, enjoying the party, Mrs. Palmer? Get it? I help with the decorations. Who wants to go around all day being why are you still hanging around? Why are you, I don't know. Why are you? It's my birthday party, mate. Why don't you fuck off? You guys are dumb. Hello, Somebody's got a man. I'm glad you Nice try. What's he saying? Why'd you have to put your name in there? Oh, that's right. Now we got this bit. Now we got this bit. But no, I, mean, I enjoyed it. It's diff it's difficult, but but not uh, not impossible, you know. I had a few good games out of it. And I still seem to make a bit of progress, so I can't really complain too much about it. I don't think anyone will mind if you slip out for a few minutes. Aye, we're going down to the reactor. Yeah. This is when you get to 10 years old, they take you down to the reactor and burn you alive. No, I'm only kidding. Happy birthday, dearie. My goodness. I hope I didn't miss the party. Uh, yeah, my dad and Amata threw me a great party, didn't they? I'm not going to be, you know... Yes, can I have my present now? No. They sure <laughs> did. My, my. 10 years old already? Why, I can remember helping your dad change your diapers. <laughs> and now look at you. A great big grown up ten year old. A great big grown up ten year old. Boy. Since this was such a special occasion, do you know what I did? I wrote you a poem just for you. Oh, I hope good. You like it. Thank you. I'll treasure it always. Of course. Is that it? Run along now. Is that all you gave me, I. And have yourself a wonderful birthday. Just a poem. It's better than nothing, I suppose. Shouldn't complain too much. Well then, Dad, show me what this is all about. That's not my dad. What are you doing here? Another youth well on his way to becoming a productive volunteer. Come on, get back to your office, you prick. <laughs> Go back and sit upstairs. <laughs> what are you doing down here, young man? 
I thought kids yeah, yeah, whatever, Jonas. Give me my, give me my present. Level. I'm not a kid. I'm ten years old. <laughs> <laughs> you sure are. <laughs> it's a bit of a strange world where a ten-year-old is not a kid. If you can wait just one more minute, I think your dad will want to give you the surprise himself. Good stuff. Well then, Dad, hurry up. He should have been are running you ready here. For your surprise? Uh, well, what kind of surprise is it? I gave you your pit boy, and you're old enough to do some work. So you're old enough to do some work. Fuck you! I'm ten years old. Your own BB gun. It's a little old. BB gun. But it should work perfectly. Jonas found it down here. Just found it, it lying about. Rough shape. Who knows whose it was? It was a what was it like? Did they not say it's like Wally's or somebody? You know how tough it is to find a spring that small. Good thing Butch misplaced that switchblade of his. Uh, that's Butch. <laughs> So, what do you displaced think? Displaced is mis displaced. We can shoot a gun sure in here. Can't, unless we want the overseer <laughs> beating down our door. Jonas and I. He won't even know. Place, It'll be fine. He won't even know. Uh, what in God's name is wrong with you? Hey, shoot at the targets, okay? That's not a toy. It's not very good aim, is he? Ow! <laughs> I think that hurt a wee bit. Well, what do you think? You can come down here and shoot anytime you want. <laughs> I can. Oh, that's so good. Thank you, Dad. Have done it without Jonas's help. You make sure to thank him. Shoot all three targets with the BB gun. Uh, what in God's name is wrong with you? One, Son, two. I brought you into this world. I think you know the rest. Is that not the target? No. I thought he was the target. And again, and again. There we go. A rad roach. We can enter vats. Let's do vats. So we can we can shoot the rad roach in the head, but we'll probably miss. But we can hit it with a couple of body shots. Body shots, kid. There we go. Nice and easy. Kill the rad roach. Was that it? I. Good work. That's one less round There's only so much fun you can have out shooting the, shooting together. the people that you're not Captured supposed to be shooting, though, right? Hey, Jonas. And it's got a photo Picture together. Me with the big game hunter. I wonder if you what could kill him. If you shoot him enough wrong. times, I wonder if you can kill his dad at the start uh, of the game. What in God's name is wrong with you? Uh, what in God's name is wrong with you? Then I don't have to chase him, right? If he's gone, then we don't have to chase uh, him for the whole game. You this world. I think you know the rest. Oh, his, his head's in pretty bad condition there. What in God's name I'll just get his leg. I'll take that photo. <laughs> that would solve the whole problem of the game, wouldn't it? You just just shoot him at the start of the game, and then that's it done. <laughs> now he's sixteen. He's got to do his uh, his goat exam, hasn't he? As far as I can tell, you're a perfectly healthy sixteen-year-old boy. So yes. Have to go to class to take your I don't want to, exam. Dad. Go on, now. I want to stay at You've home. Got a goat to take. Hey, it's not my call. Those I don't want rules. to do it. You're Leave me alone, old. Dad. So this year you take the goat. Come on, it's not so bad. Everyone has to take it. You'll do just fine. <laughs> but I'm sick, really. No, you are not, really. When I started I studying medicine, one of the first things one I of the first things he learned was uh, how to find out people who were uh, taking a test. Who were lying? It's not so bad. Skipping school. Has to take it when they're 16. I had to. Usually it's because they're making a phone call, going, "I can't come in today. Everyone makes it through. I'm not, I'm not feeling well. I just I can't make it in." Anything I need to know about the goat? The generalized occupational aptitude. Obviously, it's always better if you just say, "Yeah, I'm not feeling great." Everyone here in the vault takes it when they're 16. I'll have to take the day off. Helps to figure out what sort of a job you'll have here in Vault 101 when you get a bit older. So. Pay attention and try not, not that I take lots of days off sick or anything. the overseer says, we are born in the vault, we die in the vault. Each is tested to determine their abilities, that they may work for the betterment of all vaults. Although, you know, residents. if you're not well, you should take the day off. Huh. Sound familiar? It does I. Do I have to die? Do we have to die in the vault? Can't we ever leave? That's not the way it works. And it won't do to go around asking questions. <laughs> Don't ask questions like Especially that. Especially not around the overseer. Do we have to die in now. the vault? Please, no. So listen closely. 
It sounds so. It sounds you know, just total despair. I know, but it is your hope. You're safe here. Stay on the overseer's good side, and you always will be. You understand? Well, okay. You need to appreciate all you have. Where's he looking? What's, What's he looking there? at? He was looking over there. That's he was looking over the to the side there. That nobody's there. And it's not what your mother wanted for you either. Is it true, Dad? Was everyone born in the vault? What everyone That's ever? What the overseer says, isn't it? Was everyone ever not born in the vault? In, so it's I the, the cradle of civilization. You're here now. And it's a vault 101. Of being up there. All your mother and I ever wanted was for you to be safe, and you are safe here. Can we talk about you know, Mum? Your mother. Was I born in the vault? Yeah, yeah. She was beautiful. I think so. But beyond Were you? The beauty you've seen. <laughs> There's just so much those old photos can never show. And she was passionate. Good old vault. Yeah, exactly. About life, about love. But most of all, most of all, <laughs> she was passionate about you. When she became pregnant, it was the happiest I had ever seen her. Ah. Oh, she had she great had things in mind. I mean, there's mind. only so many great things you can do, so, right? I I remember the goat like it was yesterday. Yeah, just about. I. Please. So, yeah. Please. Take these achievements. I remember I had to. Um, the last thing I need. We had to. I had to go and try and get that old man to come out of his locked room. A, a garbage burner. And so we used like a cherry bomb to pop his door open. I shouldn't say things like that. I'll probably get in trouble. There's not. That's of part of the game. It's not. It didn't really happen. <laughs> I should say. Even Bible verses up on his wall. Dad, I'm just going to have a quick look at your, your personal files. I hope you don't mind. Uh, Freddy's VDS is getting worse. Most days he can't even get out of bed when he does manage to function. Freddy hides his insecurities and low self-esteem behind a bully's mask. Vault Tech medical protocols dictate the prescription of anti-anxiety medication. Stanley continues to suffer from severe and chronic head pain. we are feeding him aspirin like it's candy. But I'm reticent to give him anything stronger. <laughs> Once again, the overseers insisted on being in the room for a matter's examination. Throwing any inkling of doctor-patient confidentiality right out the window. Well, tell him to fuck off. He's not the doctor. Uh, cells replicate normally. No mutation, thank God. Whatever's out there could penetrate the vault. I can't even begin to imagine what the overseer would do. We borrowed some water chips. New experiment was also monumental for another reason. It's the first time Jonas has assisted. Right, okay, well, that's enough. We've, we've had a look through the personal files in the computer. Let's go and... Uh, all right. Good morning. Hi, Jonas. Hey, 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 sport. It's been he doesn't talk to you. He just says random stuff. It's the big goat day today, right? It's the big goat day today. <laughs> out of context, that sounds very, very bad. Get out of my way, you stupid tunnel snakes. Now, we could sit here and have the conversation with these guys about how they're picking on a matter and the guy's a bit of a dick and all the rest of it, but instead... Look like that. Come on, then. We don't need to hurt him because he was nice to us before, so we don't need to have a conversation with these guys. We know what it's all about. Tunnel snakes drool. We're having a bit of we're having a bit of uh, trouble. Tunnel snakes suck. Oh, you got that the wrong way around, mate. Tunnel snakes are losers. Oh, come on. Don't run away. It's going to be fun paying you back for that. What about this? What about that? I'm in the classroom, Luke. Oh, Luke. <laughs> Interrupted the conversation. Yeah, I, I'm, all I'm seeing is the back of someone's head. Uh, I'm feeling kind of sick. Guess I'll have to reschedule. <laughs> Now, unless you have something else, you there was nothing discuss. to discuss with them. They were just seed and prepare for the twenty-two seventy-four edition of the goat. All right, fine. I'm sure we'll succeed. Will. We'll we'll, we'll pass it with flying colors. We've done it before, answers. so it'll be fine. <laughs> we'll start as soon as everyone's found a seat. Good luck. All right. You don't want to be the first class. In I can't. I can't hit him anymore. That's unfortunate. We can't get him anymore. All right, let's do the goat. Sit in your chair. Let's go. Right, why did I just get up out of my chair? Back off. I'm not doing anything. I've just got up. Is that because I was fighting with them? Well, now that everyone has managed to find the classroom, I have to start all over again. Why did I get up there? And keep your eyes to I thought the game stopped you from getting up at that point. 
Did he just yeah, sneeze on the back of my head? Did that, did that guy just sneeze on the back of my head? No worries, Lynn. Question one. A frenzied vault scientist runs up to you and yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonance. Just kick him in the kick him in the shin and run away. No, um wouldn't that cause a parabolic destabilization of the fission singularity? Yeah, up yours too, buddy. Say nothing and grab a pipe and hit him in the head. Better to better to not take any chances. Let's say that. Question two. Yeah, up yours, buddy. While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection in his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate. What do we do about this? I think every time I've done this, I've got the same uh, job. I'm not sure if the job actually changes, like you're a sanitation expert or something. I, I think that's always the same job, but I'm not sure. Um, do we chop his foot off? Chop his foot off. You discover a young boy lost in the lower levels of the vault. Somebody in crisps. Hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in What's that noise? Is somebody eating crisps? <laughs> Give the boy a hug and tell him everything will be okay. Confiscate the property by force. It's just a wee boy, come on. Pick his pockets, take it for yourself. It's leading to safety and turn him into the overseer. Congratulations. They might they might be lenient. Made one of the vault baseball they might be lenient if we're lucky. Position do you prefer? Uh, pitcher, catcher, designated hitter, or none. You wish they had a football team. That's... Mm. I mean, what, is it, what specifically has it got to say about you as a person? Let's be the pitcher. I suppose. We'll not take any other connotations of that phrase. What do I do? Your grandmother invites you to tea, but she tells you to kill someone. Hello, Celtic! <laughs> and we're playing Fallout 3. This is going to be going on for a while, I think. Yeah, ask Granny for a minigun instead. You don't want to miss. I mean, obviously, right? Fallout 3, yes. There we go, Luke. We had to do this before. We, had, we did this before. Uh, we uh, we uh, get the cherry bomb and blow the door open. Now, we want to pick the lock. Because someone else might need to live there when Mr. Abernathy's gone, you know? Can you use it as some kind of party trick? Um, whenever you're about now, you know? Um, large doses of anti-mutagen agent, what, Radaway? Would Radaway take away an arm sticking out of your gut? Remove the mutated tissue with a precision laser. Yeah, but not everybody has a precision labor to Labor? A precision labor? Precision laser to hand. Issue one of Grognak. What's the best way to obtain it? Slip some knockout drops in his Nuka Cola and take the book when he's unconscious. Yeah, we're not going to be uh, we're not going to be drugging people. Sneak into the residence quarters and steal it, or trade it for one of your own valuable possessions. Steal it at gunpoint. That's what we want to do. Question nine. <laughs> you decided would be Let's see what job they offer me here. How you doing, Celtic? Anyway. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking, and... uh, so what we want to do is we want to put a firecracker in the toilet. That's sure to cause some chaos. I'm pretty sure I've seen where that can actually just blow the toilet up. You got hit, man. Well, you never know. Who does this? Who could this be? We got just just nasty person. Uh, is it the overseer, Betty Chant? I might be wrong. I'm sure most of you didn't find it so bad. Others, well, there are always openings in the. I thought you said you couldn't fail. Oh, you completed Half-Life Alex, did you? Nice. <laughs> what? But he said he said you can't fail. Yay, we did it. Alright, Booch. Come on, then. Come on, then. Uh, that's all you got to say, is it? Yes. Hello. Hello. What does she get? Yeah, I'm going to do some VR stuff at some point. I'm still not totally sure, but... I definitely want to play some Elite at some point. Alright, my turn. Wow. Wow. What? What? 
We're going to be the vault's marriage counselor. Just to be able to avail myself of your services. Because marriage is all about nicking, uh, nicking people's uh, comics from them at gunpoint. That's what I've always wanted to be. My dreams are finally coming true. Whatever, I just answered randomly. Closer to reality than you might think. Listen, I was just as conscious as <laughs> Marriage counselor. You take the goat seriously. And look where I ended up. Just between what? you and me. The whole test is I have true. never seen that job you come up like before. I can make your goat come out any way you want. Just let me know. If you slip me a fiver, I can make your goat come out any way you wanted to. I don't think I want to learn. I think I would rather, um, let's do sneak. I don't want, I'm not too bothered about speech. Um, do I want melee or do I want small guns? I feel like I'd rather take small guns. Although most of the weapons I'm going to get early on in this are going to be melee weapons. And I think lockpick as well. Um, I think we're going to go with that kind of build. Get out of my face. What? What? He just said, he, but... I was just wanting my goat results. I'm done. You're right, you are done, Booch. Hey there. You again. What me again, yeah. Talking to me, huh? You all right. I want to catch a case of the nerd. Why are you talking to me? Why are you talking to me, nice? All right then. You all right? You again. What did I tell you about talking to me? Huh? A change of scenery. Marriage counselor. We're gonna get killed by the bright light. Come on! You've Am I gonna blow to up Megaton? Up. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe not straight away. What's wrong, Amata? You've got to get out of here. Maybe your not straight away. We'll see. My father's men are looking for you. What do you mean, my dad's gone? He's left the vault. I don't know how, but he's gone. And my father, he's kind of gone crazy. I'm interested to see what these extra mods are that I've, um, these extra perks that I've added in from this mod are. Uh, I've never seen you scared. Dad couldn't have really left the vault. That's impossible. Mr. Paranoid's finally gone over the edge. God what? damn it! Stop making jokes and listen to me! Jonas <laughs> is dead! We'll see. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? My father ordered the guards to do it. We want to get as much and out of Megaton first before do we do the same thing to you. This is as we can. not a joke. You need to get out of here. Um, he can't have left. The door's sealed. Not anymore, apparently. But are you honestly telling me you had no idea your dad was leaving? Although there are some missions in Megaton that are a bit of a pain, aren't there? Like running around finding stuff for that shop. Um, I had no idea he was planning to leave. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sure he had There are some reasons. annoying missions in there Maybe too. Jonas was supposed to explain Aye, well that's it, you. you know. But it doesn't matter. Fill your pockets I and then you and escape. then do it. I have my own plan. <laughs> Maybe we just want to kill all of those factions. Uh, how do I get out? Listen. There's a secret tunnel that leads to We'll go to Ten Penny Tower and get rid of all them too. You'll have to hack the computer <laughs> in his office to open it. Use these to get into his office. That's how I always get in. Sounds like a good plan. Let's oh, go. One more thing. I stole my father's pistol. I hope stole the pistol. It, but you'd better take it just in case. Thanks. Um, I'll only use it as a last resort. Nice. This will come in handy if I run into any of your father's goons. I hope you're joking. I'm not joking. Even with that pistol, I don't think you're <laughs> going to fight against the whole security force. Well, we'll see, won't we? Okay. I'll try to meet you at the exit. Good luck. Yeah, you're going to need it. I mean, I'm going to need it. I'll meet you at the vault door if I can, but don't wait for me. There we go. We've got our BB gun just in case. Let's take all that. There's not really much lying about here I think you need, to be honest. Uh, we could try and fist fight the guards, but I think I'll probably take the baseball bat. Just, you know. Alright, pal. Come get me, then. Come and get me. Oh, no, you've been surrounded by roaches. Here, I'll let them fight you for a wee while. I'll help you with the roaches, Luke. There you go. Is that alright? Are you going to attack me anyway? Take that. And that. We just smashed his head with the with the bat, even though he's got like a thing on his head. Well, let's get some armor so that we're not uh, totally useless against everybody. At least then we should be a little better protected. Let's go this way first. None of these doors open. Uh, that's where I just came out of. So we can sneak if we want. I'm hearing some rad roaches. What do I call them, Rad? No, no, I've played this game many times. <laughs> many times. 
go to the toilet. You gotta help me! My mom's trapped in there with the rat roaches! It's the first time I've done it on stream though. Butch asking me for help. If only you knew what irony meant. Yeah, I'm asking you. So what? Look, I'm sorry for the We don't way like Butch, you. so You know I never meant any of it, right? But it's my mom. You can't leave her in there with the rad roaches. Why do you need my help? Why are you afraid of rad roaches? Yeah, so I hate rad roaches. Is he scared so of rad roaches? I tried to go back in to help her, I swear I did. <laughs> but I just I always love it, yeah. So I'm begging you, please help her. I don't know what I'd do without my mom. Yeah, she's already done for you. Better run before they get you. You're big, they're little. Go back and squish them. No. No, I'm not going back in there. I can't. He's scared of rad roaches. Yeah, it's, it's quite good, the sort of grim feeling of it, yeah. Sorry, Butch, you're on your own. You're a real bastard. You know that? Imagine I that. Get treated like shit by, uh, by Butch and uh, now he wants my help. Oh, don't worry, pal. You don't need to oh, worry about it. What? Why is that not hurting him? Take this, Booch. Batter up. Batter up. There we go. Um, See, so now the tunnel snakes rule, because I'm in charge. Let's go and uh, let's go and help her. Even though he's dead, let's go and help her. Butchie, help me! That hit her as well. The bat hit her as well. Now oh, she's dead. Oh well. Let's take those couple of bottles of vodka. Unfortunately, we couldn't rescue her. I wasn't really trying, to be honest, but don't need three jumpsuits. Can't have that either. Sorry. I accidentally hit her on the head with my baseball bat. I don't think that helped. <laughs> and Vats, it made me hit her. There you go, bitch. <laughs> it's in there. Oh, look, rad roaches in the... Uh, in the diner. There we go. Oh, the, the poor old lady, Grandma Taylor, is dead on the floor. I guess the. Uh, it, it, yeah, that's true. It stopped. It stopped the rad roaches from eating her. That's that's probably the the posit the one positive we can take from it. I mean, they're all, they're all going to be stuck down here anyway, right? So let's have a toaster. Just in case, you know, we're, we've got, our job was like marriage counsellor, so we've got a toaster to give to people when they get married. Nice wee present for people when they get married. Or when they're having problems, I suppose. We can give them a toaster and they'll be a lot happier. Alright, pal. Come and get it. Okay, we'll leave him. Anything in the classroom? Maybe we can change our goat results. Oh, we already did, didn't we? Is he gonna hit me? All right, bud. Oh, you're lucky it was me who found you. Yeah, he's he's not a bad guy. I don't know what you're. He's one of our friends. So it's know. okay. Just, just clear out of here, and I'll pretend I never saw you. Thanks, Officer Gomez. I always liked you. I'll pretend you don't work for a homicidal I maniac. I don't know it. Why do you think I'm letting does. you go? I guess you're trying to follow your dad. Outside. Yeah, we gotta go and find him. But gravy, if I didn't know what the overseer would do if he caught you, I'd never tell you to try <laughs> for it. But it's your only shot. Gotta try. Take care, and I hope you find your daddy. Me too. So the folk up here are all right. Me and Andy were in a tight spot there. Ain't no mistake. Good thing he loves toasting roaches so much. Toasted roaches. What's what's outside? We don't know anything about outside. It's 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 an alien concept to him. Oh, the terminal's been locked. Got any breakages? Any problems on these uh, x-rays? I think we're okay. Well, should we take that? I need a lockpick skill of 50 to take a Bible quote out of the out of there. Thank you very much for the follow, peace workers. Alright, guys. Well, I'll see you later, okay? We'll leave them. They're, they're, they're not attacking us, so it's fine.
It's our only chance. Don't you see? Guys, We're don't. Out of here, just like the doctor. Tom I'm not going to let anyone stop. I wonder if I could I wonder if I could go and do this before he gets killed. You know how he gets. It's me. Tom, be careful. <laughs> Nah, we can't, we can't protect him. No! Unfortunately, we can't protect him. You're an American? I am Scotland, yep. Yeah. There we go. Okay, we've, we've sorted this guy out. We've sorted this guy out all the way. Nah, I don't want a jumpsuit. But we'll take these police batons and stuff. Unfortunately, you can't stop them from dying, I guess. <laughs> nice to have you here. Hope, uh, hope it'll be all right. Hope it'll be good for you. Kill that. Our small gun skill is definitely going to be helpful. Oh. Although the problem is we will run out of ammo really quickly. We will run out of ammo really quickly. With this gun. Oh, look. My, well, you're stuck in a room, look. It's two of you stuck in a room. You're not getting out. Aye, alright. Don't let him get away. <laughs> Just teabag him in his wee room. It's hot, stay hydrated. It, it is warm. He's stuck in a room that it doesn't seem like you can get to any easily. You always want to, yeah. I wonder if the there's probably like a way with like um mobs or something. No clip. Turn off clipping to get to the guy in the room, I suppose. Security Chief Hannon, look. That's a nice upward swing from that baseball bat. Your baton didn't get you anywhere, mate. The chief of security, and he's got a... He's all, all he's got is a baton. Can I not? Is there another one? Is that dead or not? Okay, for some reason it wouldn't let me search the rad roach. We want that meat. We can always sell it. Uh, I don't really need that stuff, but we'll take it anyway. And we'll take the reading glasses and the utility jumpsuit. And now we'll move on. Lewis Baton? <laughs> security, yeah. That's what I thought, you know, getting the security armor is a good uh, a good start uh, for us. Um, just that it protects us from a lot of these early attacks, because we're not going to go in there yet. It helps you kind of early on against a lot of these attacks, you know. There's uh, Jonas, unfortunately dead. Take that lab uniform as well. All the stuff we can sell later. Let's uh, let's play let's play the note from his dad, uh, which is there. On, Jonas. I need to record this first. Hacking and whacking and smacking. Welcome back, Len. I don't really know how to tell you this. There are all these people lying around in their underwear now. You might be angry. I thought about it for a long time, but in the end, I decided it was best for you not to know. So many things I know I didn't notice you were streaming Celtic until uh, until I went to start mine and went into the Discord it's and realized can blame everything on me. Well, not. Obviously, you already know that I'm gone. It was something I needed to do. You're an adult now. I'm just loot all this before we go and Maybe someday meet the overseer. We can see each other again. I can't tell you why I left. Got all, all these jumpsuits. If this was like uh you to follow me. If this was like, um, you know, New Vegas, we'd be able to, just knowing that will be enough we'd be able to sell that to that lady in the thing. You were finished at seven. Uh, yeah, I noticed about eight o'clock. Okay, go ahead. Goodbye. So we have to get in through his computer, uh, which we can't do right now because we need to password. Except there it is there. So we could just wander off and just not bother meeting up with the overseer. But we just have to go and visit him. Do do do. <laughs> you might pass out because you're tired. Yeah, it's. Uh, is it hot where you are as well? You all right? You didn't do anything yet. Is there more where that came from? All right. Okay. 
I see. That that would uh, that would do it, yeah. <laughs> that would do it. I hope you enjoy it for as long as you're able to. <laughs> Where'd he go? Let's talk to her. Thank you. I told you my father wasn't himself. I don't know what father's he might bad. have done if you hadn't come along. Her father's bad. You'd better get out of here. I'll try to meet you at the vault door. If I don't make it, good luck. All right. So we could either we could kill the overseer. It's when we look live. It was a bit busy sorting beads. Yeah. I I didn't know I I didn't notice. And I apologize. But good to hear you finished the game off. Did he go in his office? Oh, he's gone. Oh well, let's just leave the overseer. We've got the password anyway. We don't need we don't need the overseer. So we've got like security dossiers, the you know, the tunnel snakes. If Butchin's leather clad delinquents accost the matter one more time, they'll have more to deal with than their acerbic teacher. Their services have come in handy on occasion, I must admit, but they're starting to become unruly. If dogs become feral, they must be put down. There's Beatrice. Absent-minded, repressed, sycophant, Beatrice has served Vault 101 admirably for years, but her mind is growing feeble. I'll have to speak with our good doctor about some kind of pharmaceutical solution. Guy's a bit of a wank, to be honest. Let's go and find him. Sorting beads. Oh, just... Um, Lynn does a bit of sort of crafting with, like, beads and stuff like that, so it's uh, just sorting them out to... keep them organised. Because what happened? You had a load of them just fell all over the floor, so... So yeah, a bit of a nightmare. Uh, I've, recons I've considered reassigning them, but the truth is Jonas is a fine medic in his own right. And that's a matter. Every time I try to get her to open up, she just pushes me further and further away. Since she was a child, I've tried to instill in her those virtues that have made this vault what it is today. No, no. Nolan's just... Uh, Someone that, that comes in and watches. Hello. We usually talk about the... Uh, that's alright. We usually talk about the uh, the beading and how it's going and all those sorts of things, so... And I think you should... You just said a minute ago, hadn't you, that it was... Uh, that it was... Uh, that you had all that stuff falling all over the floor. There we go. Get rid of that rad roach. Any more? Right. It's probably it's probably um, Lynn. You need to apologise to. <laughs> Activate that switch. Open that door. <laughs> We're gonna get out of here. <laughs> they need to just let me out. Why didn't they just let me out? Um, there are some, to be honest, a lot of the area up here is quite, oh, that's loud. Let me just turn this volume down a touch. Uh, it's mostly hillsides, to be honest, where I am, so. <laughs> it's mostly sort of hills and stuff like that, so a lot of the areas are quite, can be quite, um, can be quite barren. There is some woodland around. But not sort of massive areas, I would say. There are some some bigger areas. Um, mostly a lot of land that nobody can really use. <laughs> Could have done it without your help. <laughs> no, there are some there are some nice areas. Yeah. Why don't you come with me? We should have killed the overseer. Then she wouldn't have liked us. Wouldn't have any reason. I think there is a reason to go back at some point in the future, but yeah, a very a, a pretty long distance. You just leave me alone, mate. Look at these guys, right? They're going to attack me. They're going to attack me. Come and attack me. Come and attack me. Oh no, Luke! I'm not going out there. I'm not going out there. Come and get me. Stop right there. No, you don't, because you're scared. Because <laughs> they're scared of coming out. They won't come out. He's not crazy enough to go out there. 
You're in Michigan, the state that looks like a mitten. Ah. What's that? You weren't so talking. I've had to apply cream to your whole arms and legs. That's a 0% chance to hit him, so there's no point in trying that. That was his head, apparently, that we hit. Even though that was clearly his legs. I don't like it, no. I wish you'd stop. I wish you'd stop. Now what are you going to do? I'm not going out there, okay. Come on then. Stop in the name of the overseer. The law has been broken. I can show the discord picture if I want on stream. Oh, the one from the... Uh, the one with the beads that you were doing. Yeah. Can do. Wait, is he totally healed? So one of them's totally okay. The other one has taken most of the damage, to be fair. There's your critical strike. Come and get me. Just going to teabag him a wee bit from there. Come on then. A <laughs> baseball bat needs some nails, it does. Wow, we totally missed him with that one. Right in the kneecaps. Was that in the shins, actually? Right in the shins. Uh, let's take some security armor. We can sell all this stuff. Get as much cash as we can. There we go. Yeah, we need a better baseball bat than this. Bye. Let's go outside, right? There's going to be a bright light. So for anyone that's concerned about bright lights, look away now! Uh, we don't need to edit any of this because we set it up the way we wanted to. I think there's a bright light when we go outside. That noise! <laughs> that noise. I think this is the last screen where you get that really bright white light. Here we are. The capital wasteland. Exactly, Kellic. It's it's absolutely not mandatory. But it's nice to have you. Scenic overlook. We've leveled up. So as I say, I've... Um, I'll take them up to 35. It's a great view. It's a fantastic view. I'll take medicine up there. Um, I want... Lock pick up to 35. And we'll take melee up to 20. Um, so, I've done a... Um, I've, I've downloaded a kind of mod which adds new perks to the game. Um, so there's all sorts of extra ones. Like, I think, alcoholic... Um, if we have... My stats increase dramatically while I'm drunk. But your charisma and intelligence decrease when not. Mostly it's ones to add new perks to the game. I also did like a, there was an unofficial, um, uh, you know, uh, fix for stuff or whatever. We've got amnesia, so we've forgotten everywhere we've been. At least now I can go out and explore the waste, what, wastelands as if I've never been there before. I'm pretty sure that's new. Are death claws friendly or not? I don't know. Body shield. Um, apparently whenever I'm holding an object out in front of me with the grab key, I will have maximum damage resistance. There's control breathing to steady aim with scoped weapons, deal more damage when you're standing still. Um, I think that's a normal one. That's daddy's boy to get the uh, intellectual boosts. Forger. You can turn any bottle cap like object into a Nuka Cola cap. So any drink we have, we can turn that into a Nuka Cola cap. Uh, gun, that's a standard one. Intense training. These are all standard ones. The little eager. Uh, Gain five points of melee weapon skill, five points of explosives. We could do that. Uh, we've got pacifist, we've got paranoid. We're anxious for those around us and constantly on the lookout. As a result, we have greatly increased perception, but my fear results in decreased AP. Don't know if I want that. Powered by money, you collect caps, drives you to collect more. Uh, for every 5,000 caps you have, you can carry 10 pounds more of equipment, up to 50 pounds. So I would, in order to get the fifty pounds, though, I would have to have twenty-five thousand caps in my pocket. <laughs> uh, Swift learner, TJF. Thank God it's Friday. You love Fridays, and feel so much more free on them. With this perk, you gain plus fifteen percent experience and fifteen AP on Fridays. Well, in-game Fridays or just Fridays in general. A thief gain an immediate bonus of five points to sneak and lockpick. I feel like that's going to be a useful thing. 
so yeah there's a lot of these there's a lot of these new perks that seem quite interesting um i did also put a mod in that lets me take two perks a level because we've got all these extra perks in there um i think what i'm going to do for now is i'm going to probably take intense training um just to give us a bit of a boost in one of our special abilities um I'm going to put up my uh, agility for the small guns. But I'm not sure if that perk works. It does seem to, in a, sh in a moment, it'll like tell me I'm at level 3 but won't let me adjust any details and give me another perk. So I think that must be what the two perk thing is. Obviously we've got all this additional stuff now. This is obviously the game of the year version so we've got point lookout. See now it says welcome to level 3. Which means we can now choose another perk. It doesn't let me adjust these because it's not really a level up. Um, but it does let me choose another perk. I'm just hoping that doesn't affect the level cap. Obviously with it being the Game of, game of the Year edition, we're not the level cap's not quite as bad. But I'm just hoping it doesn't affect that because it's doing it that way. Whether next time we level up it will be level 3 or not. Uh, we've got Thief. Immediate bonus of 5 points to sneak and lockpick. I'm going to take that. You can take that in 3 ranks. New radio message across the capital wasteland, into the pit. We're not going to do all this stuff now, obviously, because a lot of these... A lot of the add-ons require you to be a little better. I've noticed when these come on, there is a little bit of slowdown on the game briefly. Uh, obviously, we've got a couple more of them to, to come as well. But for now, the Mothership Zeta, we know all this stuff already. And there we go, broken steel, my level cap raised to 30. See, I'm hoping that doesn't affect the level cap doing that, but I guess we'll see. If I go to there, does it tell me what level I am? Has it actually made me level 3? No, so I am level 2. So every time we get level up, we're going to be able to choose two perks. Which with an additional, I think it's something like an additional 70 perks. Um, it gives us obviously a chance to get some better perks or try out some of these different perks, see what they might do for us. There's a new radio broadcast, outcast distress signal. So we'll give them a shot and see what see what comes up. Otherwise I would have just run it normally, but I think with all those extra perks we want some more space to, to do some more, you know. Um, there's not really an easy way to get down from here, so I'd be better to follow that road for a minute. Oh, there we go, we can just do this. Just some typical Bethesda mountaineering. There we go. I remember I downloaded a mod years ago for this where it added a wee door down in one of these things and it basically brought you to a room where you could get every item in the game. I mean, that's just cheating. <laughs> so here we go. Megaton. We'd gap to a point and then we can probably think about doing this. Where's the guy that's selling stuff? There's usually a... There's usually a caravan here. You're devastated that you can only play Fallout 4 now in VR. All right, bud. Oh, thank God. Someone new. He needs water. I need water, please. Water. Uh, what is this place? Some kind of city? It's Megaton. If you've been living in a hole or yeah. something, everyone's heard of Megaton. I've been living in a hole, yeah. In there, but they only give it to residents. I quite liked Fallout 4. I don't like it quite as much as um, like 3 in New Vegas, but I still quite enjoyed it. Uh, will any water do? <laughs> will any water do? Okay, open your mouth. I'm sorry, that's horrible. Here, have this purified water. Yeah, there's good gameplay in it. Constantly being told that you had to go and help at another settlement, though. It was a bit of a pain. I insist, at least I can do to help. Really? Seriously? My God. I think it was mainly the settlement thing that bothered Thank people. So much. I'll never forget this. Um, constantly being told, you know, another settlement's in danger. There's usually a guy with a with a bram in here. I guess we've uh, I guess we got here too quick. Have yourself a nice visit. There is. Yeah, I might, I might try the pit in Fallout 76. I didn't hate... You know, it's the same with, with Fallout 76. I didn't hate it as much as some people do. Um, 
I thought it was an alright game on its own. But I think that having no NPCs when it first came out really didn't help, to be honest. Having no non-player characters before really didn't help much. Turn this time around. Turn around. What's that game called with everything as a cube and you mine and build? Minecraft? Yeah, the settlement building was always a bit kind of... I am from the vault, yeah. I ain't seen one of those jumpsuits in a long time. Name's Lucas Sims. There's Lucas. Town sheriff and mayor too when the need arises. Minecraft, yeah. I don't know why, but I like you, boy. Something tells me you're all right. I don't know why, but so I like you, boy. Maritime. Just holler if you need something. I didn't know why, but he likes me. And I, but I might not. You might not like me. Nice hat, Calamity Jane. Nice town you got here, Sheriff. And well -mannered. I think we're sheriff going to badge looks like a cookie, fine. does it? You treat my people nice. It doesn't look very like a real sheriff badge, does it? It looks like like a like a wee kid's badge that they got out of a cereal box or something. Message received. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, is there something I can help you with? Looking from a dad, middle-aged guy. Maybe you've seen him. Nope. Sorry. I got enough fires. He would have known where he was going. He didn't need to come to Megaton. To keep tabs on every visitor. I'd ask around town. Yeah, I mean, to some extent you didn't need to do it. You know, the one thing I did like in, um, obviously there were the missions where you had to do it in the, the kind of first kind of town, um, where you had to build certain things. Um, but you could get by without doing too much of it. Um, you could get by without doing too much of it, you know. Oh, except for that bit where you had to bloody build the defences in the little um, fortress place while you were being attacked by the giant things. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah, it allowed you to do it. I, I, I quite like the fact that I could, if I wanted to craft something, I could go to, I could be at a completely different, um, like, outpost type area, and I could, and all my stuff would be there, so I could get them, as long as you'd made, like, the, as long as you'd made, like, the, um, the links, obviously, between the, the locations. Um... But yeah, to some extent, it was, it was kind of annoying. I think they'd brought that along. They, they seemed to come to that after after Skyrim when they had like the hearth. Was it the Hearthstone um, add-on where you could build your own like buildings and stuff? Then that became a big thing in Fallout Four for whatever reason, and then obviously seventy six. Uh, Our clinic is down in the crater by the bomb. Doc Church is a little rough around the edges. I would assume that whenever the next one comes, it'll probably be like that. I wonder if Starfield will have us building things. Oh, well, yeah, it will. It'll have us building our own uh, spaceships, right? Uh, is there a weapons dealer around here? Take me to your dealer. This one is a peach-flavored one. Um, but I've got a variety of them in front of me. got a variety of them here, so... <laughs> a few options to choose from. Moira's funny, yeah. Is there a bar in town? Sure is. Moriarty's. The entrance is on the top level, opposite the main gate. Just be careful. Moriarty is not. Your most of the most of the flavors I tend to go with for them are um are uh, fruit sort of flavors. I've tried like menthol ones before, but I always find them a bit. Best options to quit. Well, yeah, I'm trying to. My favourite flavours was Honey Nut Cheerios and Monster Energy. Sounds interesting. <laughs> it does sound interesting. That does sound interesting. I do like some of the strange flavours that they have though, you know. I suppose if it's flavoured like Monster Energy, that's maybe okay. You don't want to have all the additional stuff. Where can I rent a bed? Talk to Nova. She'll help you. Yeah, a lot of the a lot of the stuff is quite different with them here. Honey nut Cheerios was so much better. Yeah, I found flavors. Um, let's discuss this bomb that I haven't even seen yet. Honey nut Cheerios. Yeah, I've come across some flavors where I've been quite surprised. You know, where I've tried them and I've been like, I'm actually surprised. Surprisingly, I've I've enjoyed that. 
Um, it still it still amazes me how they managed to make them taste pretty much exactly like the thing as well. Don't you think someone should disarm that? I don't trust any of the locals to tinker with it. Besides, most people don't even realize it's still a threat. And hell, Cromwell and those crazies from the Church of Adam, they worship the damn thing. Yeah, well, then, yeah, Why? let's not, think you got the let's not to cater to them. Do I have the know-how to disarm it for good? I can see about doing it. Oh, all right. Doesn't mean we're going to. But listen here. Just take a look at it first. Just take a look at it first. If you get the job done, there'll be 100 caps in it for you. Well, demolition expertise doesn't come cheap. I want 500 caps. The speech chance there is 11%, so I'm going to go out on a limb and say that that's probably not going to happen. 100 caps, all right, I'll take a look at it. Not my problem. Good luck. Great. We'll take a look at it. Go ahead and see what you can do. Just be careful. That doesn't mean we're gonna we're gonna turn it off, as I say, but know anything about the area outside? It's called the wasteland for a reason. Is that because it's a because it's a wasteland? Is it not, not red if it won't happen? Like that. I'm not sure. To the south, you. I did also have a thing that changed. Going to no, I didn't. That was for Morrowind. I was gonna say I had a thing that changed the kind of um, menus there, but. No, actually, no. This was the other thing. You need Fallout 4, right? So, like, in this in this game, when I pick one of these, when I pick one of these questions, one of these things to talk about, um, tell me more about your town. What do you want to know? The answers are actually what you ask. You know, and it's not like you remember you could pick stuff and it was like sarcastic, and then you said something completely different from what you expected to be saying. That was always a problem with the uh, with the Fallout 4 kind of. Uh, uh, conversations, I guess. Does the town of a doctor? Yep, he's a bit cranky, but he means well. Just make sure there's something actually wrong with you before you bother him. You'll find him down in the plaza at the bottom yeah, of the hill. Yeah, it would. It would say something. It plaza. would say say this, and then when you actually said it, it was something completely different. And I was like, why not tell me what I'm actually going to say before I say it? Sure. I've already asked him these questions. Let's talk about something else. All right. Shoot. Um. Now that I'm helping you, maybe you can help me. I'm looking for my dad. It, now he knows. And for you had the option, yeah, no, and when you picked them, it was half the time, yeah, as if, no way, or no, I'd like to... Yeah, there was all sorts of weird... All sorts of weird things, you know? I would do. And then, obviously, you've got the guy coming up every five minutes saying, an outpost is in danger! Right, I have to go now. It's alright. I'll make this... Out of trouble, I, hope. I didn't... Don't want to have to waste good bullets on your sorry eyes. I didn't talk to you. Good... Right, goodbye. Let's put the baseball bat away. We don't need it right now. Yeah? You're looking to trade strength? Need something? Check out crazy need something? Squad. I'm just thinking about that. Um, have you ever seen those videos with the guy doing the... Um, where he pretends to be an NPC in, like, um, Oblivion or whatever. Or Skyrim. He like walks around, makes the motions and all the rest. Moira, yeah. Up there in crater side. He raided you? <laughs> Did he? <laughs> the, no, the, 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 the Oblivion NPC guy. No worries, Peace Ogres. Thank you very much for coming in. Good to see you. Hope I'll maybe see you again. The guy, no way. Evil the Dirt League. All oh, right, nice. Oh, that's cool. I quite like some of their stuff. Was it? I quite like some of their stuff. You know, because it always feels like, like when they're talking about working in like the the game shop or whatever. You know. Was that? That's them, isn't it? Yeah. A couple of months ago. That's that's awesome. Hey, I won't say it's all that's fresh, that's pretty cool. Keep you going. Yeah, and some of their stuff is some of their stuff's quite interesting, you know. Like well done sort of stuff. Uh, let's get rid of this baseball and this baseball glove, um, and we'll just sell this stuff just now. I'm not going to have any need for it at the moment. No, that's awesome. They are, yeah, really funny. <laughs> oh, we gave a guy some purified water, so uh, we don't need we don't need five million Vault One Hundred One jumpsuits. Just sell them all. Uh, security armor. That one's better than the one I've got. 
they're about the same. We don't want a utility jumpsuit or a lab uniform. Uh, what I will do... No, don't cancel this transaction. Give me the money. Enjoy. Did I? Did she have enough money for that? Uh, let me just change my gear. Because right now I'll be naked. Uh, yeah, one of those. Right, there we go. And uh, then we'll just talk to her again. Did she have any money left? I didn't notice. Hello? Hey, what can I get you? Um, what's on the menu? Some of it's even edible. What? How much money did she have? She's she's only got fourteen caps on her, so it's probably not worth. I have to go. It's probably not worth. Why are you being so friendly? She says. That's like the real world, isn't it? <laughs> but oh, that's cool. I always like those. I always like those videos. Welcome. Welcome to Megaton. It's Oliver Cromwell. Except at except at like nine thirty because we're having breakfast. I don't need directions. Tell me about the Church of Atten. Like why are you all? Why do you worship the bot? What the hell's wrong with you people? <laughs> Even knowing our doctrine. Why do you worship the bomb? To Adam during the Great Division were very fortunate. They were permitted to what was the... in the process of Adam's creation. Oh, good. We seek the same, both in symbol and in fact. In the bomb. And the bomb, as you call it. Oh, well, it is a fucking Adam's bomb, mate. That's why I called it a bomb, because it's a bomb. We kneel before it and ask that Adam call us to aid him. We pray that out of our meager bodies, <laughs> this bomb, as you call it. New life. What do you believe? We're doing this in reverse order. Is based on the idea that each single atomic mass in all of creation contains within it an entire yeah, all right. universe. Fair enough. Fair when play. When that atomic mass is split, a single universe divides and becomes two. So some sort of um, alternate dimension kind of. Multiverse. Occasionally, a divine event occurs, and trillions upon trillions of new universes are created. What he's talking about is a massive nuclear explosion. Hundred years ago, where most of the lost children of Atom see that event as simple war and devastation, mm. we see creation and unification in Atom's glow. I wonder how he feels about the ghouls. Let's talk about something else. Uh, do you accept donations? Yes, we do. How much would you like to donate? How about nothing? Uh, have you ever travelled outside of Megaton? We'll have this little conversation. I'll have a quick look at something afterwards. But that was a different life. I assume that you are seeking information and advice, yes? Yeah, uh, yeah, okay. The only advice that I can offer is this. You will find no wealth he's, it's a, he's a bit, uh, I don't know. Within yourself. Bask in atoms glow. Stand in nuclear radiation and you'll understand. <laughs> uh, what can you tell me about Megaton? What's the news? What's the news? Any any new uh, rumours flying around? I take effort not to be involved in such worldly business. No. Earthly pursuits distract from atoms. Of course... Now that you mentioned we're, out, we're out here trying to pay off our uncle's debt. Has hired a mercenary to protect her goods. <laughs> it's like that lumberjack's dynasty. So they say. I'd like to donate. I've got to go now. Walk in the glow. I have to go very quickly away from you now. One sec. Yeah, the thing I was thinking about earlier was... Um, da -da -da, let me find it first. Uh, is it Skyrim or... Yeah, this guy. This person, let me just do this. I need to pause this music that's on in the background. Otherwise, you're going to get that on top of what's going on. Uh, do, 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 do. Capture that window. Uh, yeah, because then I have to switch to it. Okay, that's fine. Uh, where am I? I'm still trying to get used to all the buttons on my uh, stream deck. Uh, there we go. Yeah, this guy. 
I've been looking for you. A letter from y'all, Ulfric. Very impressive. Now, where did I put it? I just have those expression, those well, dark cool. eyes for everybody. Sorry, need something? So he walks about. <laughs> just like him. Oh, I think he uh, he couldn't keep control of his laughter for that one. You try mercenary work, might suit you. He's just got it down just right, hasn't he? The hey. movements and. Watch. <laughs> Your stream deck keeps defaulting to the wrong profile. I've only got one, so... <laughs> That's helpful, I'm only having the one profile on it. <laughs> I love, I love these videos. Someone there? You can't hide from me. Get out. We're crouched down, so it's okay. Can't see us. Must have been the wind. They never repositioned themselves either. Just weird walking and all sorts of things. Need it's always that same thing, isn't it, as well? They always say, need something. Need something? You just want to ask the bard to play as a song, if that's alright. Let's get back to this game. It's so scarily accurate. Yeah, it, it really is. Oh, why has the game not come up? Oh, there we go, it has. That's fine. Have you ever talked to Jericho? You're Chris Jericho? You're right. How's it going? Hi, I'm Maggie. I live with Billy. Billy Creel. Billy Creel. Do you know him? Nope. He's not my dad or anything, <laughs> but he takes care of me now. Anyway, I should go. Bye. Fair enough. Who takes care of you? She just told you who takes care of her. Billy does. Have you met Billy? Billy Creel. Just ask again. A long, long time ago. He saved me from raiders. They kill my real I killed her real parents. parents. Last night was weird, especially the bod. Yeah, that was really strange. And now he's what was odd was... Sort of. So, obviously you mentioned that there was a... That it kind of cut off about 15 minutes before the end. When I was playing the game, um, during that, what happened was... I was watching the killer run into the, the, the building in the middle of uh, Ormond. And because I had um, Kindred on, I could see him running in. And... He ran against the wall, and he was, like, running on the spot against the wall. And then the game carried on. And that was where the that was where the VOD kind of dropped off for some reason. And then, I don't know what happened after that with the sound, because, as I say, the, the sound was there for the VOD, so obviously it had picked up the sound. Um, and, um... Oh, let's put the music back on, actually. Um, yeah, and then, not long after that, my internet connection went down. After I'd finished streaming, thankfully. Um, but yeah, not long after that, my internet connection went down. So I assume it had something to do with whatever caused that. Uh, who takes care of you? Have you met Billy? Billy Creel? A long, long Billy, Billy ago, Creel. Me from Billy, Billy Creel. They Billy! My real Billy Creel! Billy showed up before they Billy! Got. And now he's Billy like Creel! Sort of. Careful. Uh, what's the word around town? Bird is the word? No, we're not going to do that. Uh, what do you think of Megaton? It's okay, I guess. It's alright, I, I guess. Used to live way far away when I was it was very strange, though. Who else is around town? She's not allowed to talk to Mr. Jericho. And I'm especially not allowed to talk to Mr. Jericho. <laughs> I usually play with Harden most days. When that was strange. Was him out to learn to shoot or I don't know if it could have been the heat Billy or or what it was. Me to, shoot one day too. to be honest, what's the word around town? I couldn't tell you really. I talked to Manya if you care that much. Who's Manya? She's lived in Megaton longer than anyone. I will. Look at that guy frozen in the background. Bye for now. Bye, Mister. Bye, Billy Creel. I. Hey there. Who takes care of you? My dad, of course. 
What kind of question is that to ask somebody? Oh, his dad's the sheriff. Is he a deputy? Much like a megaton. My dad says that one day I'm gonna get to be sheriff, just like him. No, it's weird. Who else is around town? Who else is around town? These questions. Doc Church runs the clinic. The confessor's a little weird. Him and Mother Maya are It's very strange. There's also Moriarty. But Dad said Moriarty, you should never speak to Moriarty. Just ask Sherlock Holmes, he'll tell you all about it. Sorry. I have to go now, sorry. Why is he apologising for me needing to go now? So we're going to go to the uh, we're going to go to the bar eventually. We can pick the lock to Jericho's house. There's Nathan. Ah, look at this! Ah, oh, look at this! Tell me, boy, you ever hear of the Enclave? The last remnant of the good old USA they are. I should get rid of them. I mean, uh, I don't know you from Adam, but I got you pegged Adam. for a patriot, and any patriot. He's just decided. He's just decided that we want to be members of the Enclave. This Tory prick. What can I do for <laughs> Why do you support the Enclave? Why? Why? Look around you. This is the good old USA. <laughs> sure, she looks a little bit different these days. Sure, she looks a little different these days. But you're still on American soil. Vault, you were born under the United States, which makes you an American. What is that? Okay. Duty and my duty to support our country and our he said, uh, no duty. Understand? <laughs> You're right, my country deserves my unthinking and unquestioning support. No politics, please. Are you kidding? It's the duty of a citizen to question his government. I couldn't possibly care less about your governments or presidents. It's the second what? one. That's unthinkable! That's unthinkable! Does it say that we're supposed to run or rather, questioning the government? Huh? That's weird. My sound effects. There we go. Inconceivable. You think people who fought a war with tyrants wanted unquestioning support? They'd give us guns and say, "If you fuck up, feel free." I don't know. I skipped government class. There you go. Well, when you put it that way, we're just trying to confuse him with my fancy education and textbooks. Fancy You're just trying to fool me with your fancy education. Something else you wanted to ask, or were you done with your crazy talk? Um, if you've never seen them, how can you know anything about them? They're on the radio. They have been for years. They're on the radio. President Eden talks about Lots of people are on the radio, mate. They got flying robots all around. <laughs> flying robots. So they know They're invisible as well. Swoop in and clean this place up. You'll see. They're invisible they flying robots everywhere. Crazy old man. Things will be different when the Enclave gets here. Uh, okay. Take care. You carry on, pal. You carry on about your day. Uh, we can go to the empty house, but we need a key. We can get, we can buy, like, the empty house, I think. Uh, okay, so we've gone here. The part, the bar's over that way. We don't want to go there straight away. But yeah, that was really strange. I don't know... Oh, there's the sheriff. It was really odd. I don't know what caused it, but, uh, hopefully it's not going to happen again. Hopefully. Is that gun you've got there? He's got a um, Mauser type thing, is it? What's this? What's this house? This is Mr. Burke's house. It's a very hard lock, so we won't. Uh... I remember see playing this game before, like when it first came out. I always remember it being really difficult to work out where the hell I was going in this town. Like you, you, you could go up there to get to one side. We go to the Church of Atom and just kill everybody. Um, it's probably not a good idea right now. Let's go and have a look inside. This is their little uh, rundown shack. We can turn on the light on our pit boy so we can see a bit better. Uh, and we can steal a load of stuff. If we want to. There's not much to see in here to be honest at the moment. Most of these lockers are empty I think. Uh, we can get some 10mm rounds. I've lost karma, but I don't really care. I'm not worried about these guys at the moment. Can even sleep in one of their beds. Who's been sleeping in my bed? Me? What of it? Oh, that one's got stuff in it. Some darts and a camera. Keep losing karma. I'm gonna be in trouble with somebody at some point. Don't even think about it. 
Don't think about what you're talking about. I wasn't thinking about anything. Got anything in your pockets? Bottle caps. Do you think we could steal these bottle caps? Let's save the game so we're not immediately killed by the children of Adam. <laughs> Oh shit. You can't just take that. I just did. What are you gonna do about it? Alright, pal? Close your eyes. Feel Adam's He's not got anything in his pockets. You can't just take that. She didn't she didn't take it back though, did she? There's a load of them downstairs in their we uh their wee hall, look. Are they ready for a sermon? Uh, I've been caught again. I've messed with the wrong town. Batter up. I thought he actually said batter up there. I think we might want to reload. Does anyone else come in? Will they, will they even know that I've killed the children of Atom? Do you think? I know I'm going to die. I didn't really want to kill all of these people, so maybe I should uh, reload my save. Now nah, let's just uh, take the consequences of our actions. I'm out of here like that. Would I like that? Not really, but we'll do it anyway. I've lost karma for killing the children of Atom, unfortunately. Everyone's going to hate me. <laughs> Help! If you could do that in life. <laughs> Brass knuckles. She had some brass knuckles on her. Shouldn't have those when I pickpocketed her before. Were they all attacking me with brass knuckles? They're all running around with knuckle dusters just swinging at me. Help! Help! Help me, please! The weirdos of Atom. <laughs> yeah. Where's that person that's screaming for help? Got me begging you for mercy. I don't know where they went. They disappeared. Just uh, get a wee drink out of the fridge. Oh no, I've, lo I've lost karma for stealing all their food. I'm sure there's someone else in here. I heard them screaming help. Can't leave any witnesses. It's just a small ruined book. Look at this, the guy's up here, right? The guy's up here reading his wee sermon to them and he doesn't even have a real book. He's just he's just uh he's just standing there kidding on that he knows what he's talking about. Praise the bomb. That's what he says. Only well, he doesn't call it a bomb. Let's see if I get killed by everyone in town. <laughs> 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 so yeah, don't kill all the children of Atom. Uh, can I load? Can I load a game? Uh, which one? Which one was the one? That was the one just before I pickpocketed her. That was the one just before every, everything went wrong. <laughs> all right, I won't steal your stuff. It's okay. I don't know what I expected there. <laughs> Total ambush. Yeah. The whole town just waiting to kill me. The whole town just waiting to kill me. Behold, he is coming with the clouds. He needs to settle down then, doesn't he? Alright, pal. How's it going? Uh, that's the door to the armory. That's locked very hard. It's up here. I think the music that I was playing just turned into white noise. So basically, we can't uh, we can't murder the children of that. Whoa! Almost fell down that hole. Let's go to the men's restroom. Plunger. Can I activate the sink? And I just got three rads for drinking out of the sink. Hang on a second. I don't know why, but for some reason on this uh, playlist of music.
it'll randomly give us white noise, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> but there we go, that's better. So, okay, we um, activate the urinal. Drinking out the toilet, there we go. Three more rads. Nothing much to see in here. Drinking out the bog, yeah? Alright, what have we got here? Supplies. The supplies. And some empty, some tin cans. All Longest John stuff safe on Twitch. That's true. All their music is. I wanted something more of a, of a sort of ambient sort of thing. Uh, there's a mercenary. Leave me out of that girl's crazy experiments. I don't, I don't get paid enough, enough for that. What's the surprise? Who has a surprise? Hey, Someone has a surprise? That stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. It's Moira Brown. I'm Moira Brown. I run a surprise? Supply. Did I well, say there was a surprise? Is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book. Oh, I, I understand. I understand. The by a I understand. Flower. Help me out, would you? <laughs> I get you. Supplies. Sure, I've got plenty to say about life in the vault. Great. Just a weird owl reference, yeah. Live <laughs> underground all your life, or or to come outside for the first time, or whatever's To come you outside for the first time. It's paradise down there. No fear, no worries, no fighting until Dad left. I was sent as an ambassador from the Utopia Vault 101. Bow before my glory. <laughs> yes. Your Majesty, <laughs> then consider this armored vault suit to be Megaton's gift to your mighty empire. My empire of one. You may consider going incognito. People around here don't always take kindly to monarchy, you know. Do they not? That'll be All good right. for the book. In fact, want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. It's worth doing this because we get paid for it. What's the book you're working on? Well, it's a dangerous talk to her about her book. There in the waste, right? Got a book. Could really use a compilation of good advice, like a wasteland survival guide. Mm. For that, I need an assistant to test my theory. A wee bit like that, yeah. I don't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. No, but she'd quite happily let someone get hurt for the in the name no, of research. Then they just just not her. Lot at me with mean, mean words. There is a thing here. Um, I, said, I don't know if I'm gonna. I don't know if I'm gonna explode the bomb in Megaton yet. But there is a thing here where where uh, if you do. She's still around afterwards. Sounds like a great idea. I can't wait to help. Good enthusiasm. As a ghoul. Now, I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Day-to-day -day dangers. Is and Strange isn't sentence, isn't it? Food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. How to profit from dangerous landmines. Are you still there, Gamer Fiend? Fun, doesn't it? <laughs> Which do you want to do first? <laughs> Getting food doesn't sound so bad. What are you looking for? Well, food and medicine. Everyone <laughs> needs them once in a while, right? So they need a good place I'm just saying that because of uh, rust. There's an old super duper mart not far from here. <laughs> I need to know if a place like that still has any food or medicine left in it. Oh, great. We've got to go and check out the super duper mart. Did you see the... Too. Did you see the stuff for the Fallout TV series? Come back in one piece, okay? Like, Amazon are doing a Fallout TV series. I'm not sure how to feel about it. Let's talk about collecting stuff from the Super Duper Mart. So, how's the scavenging? No, I haven't done it yet. Got the food and medicine from that Super Duper Mart? No. Uh, I haven't got round to it yet. Oh, well, could you get on that? Thanks. Oh, I'll get on it when I'm ready. When I'm good and ready. Have you thought about disarming the bomb? Oh, I couldn't do that. It'd be a real blow to those nice folks in the church. I don't care. Besides, It'll be a lot like safer. Ever hurt yeah, yet. Live and let live, right? Games always start with a clip of a TV showing a series. Yeah, do they? Oh yeah. Can I ask you about your work and how my research sure fits thing. into it? I'm an open book. What do you want to know? Why can't you do this research yourself? Oh, That's a good question. The experience in the waste that you do. If I tried half of these things, she has far more experience than I do. <laughs> At least you look like you can really <laughs> at least she's honest out there. All I'm good at is coming up with the ideas and fiddling with junk for caravans. At least she's honest. 
really good of you to try to help people like this. I know, right? I figured instead of just helping out the caravans with odd junk, why not put my brilliant mind to work for everyone? Why not? It's a good question. Let me just do something quickly. Uh, let me see if I can find this, actually. Um... I don't know if there's like a video or anything, um, but here's an exact. Here's some. I think there were some pictures of sets. Let me just see if I can find it. And get to that picture, and then this. So there's a. There's a thing here. I show you this. Back here. This is like a picture of one of the sets from this new series that they're making. So that's like the supermarket type place. The one that she was just mentioning there, which is why I kind of brought it up. So that's like a picture of the, the supermarket thing. It does mean, I guess, that the, the Fallout thing's based more on um, based more on the Fallout 3 and all the rest than the sort of older Fallout games. But but yeah, so they've they've made up like a supermarket. They've got like the cars and the all that stuff there. Um... But there's no video or anything. It's not like a trailer for it or anything yet. But it could be interesting. It could be interesting. It's hard to say. But it could be interesting. In your experience, this guide will save a dozen times more lives than those greedy merchants. And this will save a lot of lives. I'm proud to be part of it. You can count on me. Trusty research assistant. I no bother. Do you sell any specialty items? Do I ever? The rocket I launcher. For something called a rocket launcher. <gasps> I sell all the components too, so you can make the weapon. That's the weapon that you can just fill up with all sorts Don't of junk, isn't it? Ammo. This baby shoots all the junk you might find out there in the wasteland. Ashtrays. Ashtrays teddy bears. Teddy bears. Doesn't shoot people it. though; it just shoots teddy bears and ashtrays. So if you want to shoot a teddy bear or an ashtray, that's the gun you need. Feel free to use my workbench here in the shop. All you need is the schematics and parts. Good stuff. Let me see what you have for sale. Absolutely. And I can sell her some stuff as well. She has uh, 200 odd caps, so she's got enough caps for me to sell her some things. Let's sell her the crappy 10mm pistols. We've got plenty of 10mm rounds. Um, what jumps? What suit am I wearing? I've got the security armor, which is damage rate in 9. Let's go with the weapons first. Uh, the BB gun is totally useless. Let's just sell it. Let's sell six six police batons because we don't need seven. And uh, the switchblade's not that good, so let's get rid of it too. Uh, in terms of clothing, I don't need the glasses. Maybe I should have had the glasses. We'll have the tinted reading glasses, right? Sell them the tunnel snake outfit. Uh, we're going to sell them this armor because we're going to use that instead. Uh, that just means he's standing there naked in the shop right now, but that's fine. Um, keep all that. Have the camera and the plunger. I don't need those. I think that's it. Uh, let us accept that trade first. Now, we could buy some more ammo if we wanted. I don't really need any more 10mm rounds. How much money do I have? 288. We'll take those. We'll take the 40 10mm rounds because it doesn't hurt. Does she have any healing stuff? Let's have three stim packs. That'll do. Good hunting. Good hunting. Okay. Bye for now. Take care. It's, it's a big, big wasteland. wasteland. But you know that better than me, right? Yeah, I guess so. Even though I've barely been in it. Right. So we're also going to go to the guys. Uh, we're going to also go to the bar up there, Moriarty Saloon. That'll help us progress the kind of main side of the story a wee bit. Except that's the toilet, not the bar. Toodaloo. That's the back door to Moriarty's. We don't want that. I mean, we could have lockpicked it, but there's not really any real any reason to. We can get there just by going round. See, this is the thing that used to get me in this game. When, that, when I remember first playing this game was finding my way to get to these places. Like, which ramshackle path do I need to use? To get up to the to get up to the saloon, it's this one. <laughs> That's Billy Creel's house. A bunch of bunch of folk out and about. There's Colin Moriarty. Excuse me. Colin Moriarty. Colin Moriarty. Always pleased to see a new face. 
catch me, well, out of me element. Out of your element? Proprietor of Moriarty's, you see. I think we might have missed uh, we might have missed our chance. See for yourself. Come by for a drink or twelve. You a drink or twelve. Come by for a drink or twelve. Fast friends. Looking for my dad. Have you seen him? My God, it's you, the little baby boy. The little grown baby up. boy, all grown up. Just a little bastard, ain't ya? Then and now it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. Is it since when? Oh, your daddy passed through here, all right. Here and gone. Got, Got what it came for. And then left. I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? Mm hmm. You're lying. The vault's been sealed for 200 <laughs> years. <laughs> God in heaven, would you listen to yourself? Do you honestly believe that's true? The lies they've put in that head. The lies. Your father brought you to the vault right after you were born. Lies, I tell you. You're safe, you see. I remember it well. You stayed in my saloon after all. <laughs> stayed in my that's saloon. Right. Your father. His brotherhood a steel friend, and you the suckling babe with nary a thing <laughs> to suckle. Sorry about your mum, truly. But well, I'll add no that. Matter. That big round door is open now, hasn't it? Well, yeah, yeah I mean, gone, it's closed again, door. but... Could be, I know where and why. Yeah, I'd be interested to see what they do with the Fallout TV series. Just see how that goes. Uh, my dad told me we were born in Vault 101. The brainwashing. From some other fella escaped. Oh, five years back. Somebody escaped? All hail the overseer. We're born in the <laughs> vault. We die in the vault and all that other assortment. All hail the overseer. Kid, you've got better programming than our own deputy well. You'd best wise up quick. Wouldn't want anyone... Have a bit of chocolate. ...taking advantage of you, hmm? I was kidding. Dad talked about you all the time. Now really, where is he? You seem like a nice kid, so I'm going to be straight with you. Failed. Your dad was here and now he's not. And I think the later games had the red thing that told you not to bother. What you're asking me for is information. And information is a commodity. And like any commodity, it must be sold at he wants to sell the information price. to me. So, what's reasonable? Let's say 400 caps and daddy's location's yours. Let's say I beat you around the head with a baseball bat. I mean then, uh, no. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Tell you what, kid. I'm going to help you out. Times. We don't want to do that because we'll get killed by the whole town. Could do him a favor. So you want me to do your dirty work? He's not a very nice man. He's not a nice man. So, he wants me to get these caps. He wants me to get those caps so that I can then pay him for them. So, we're paying her debt, only we're not paying her debt because we're getting the 100 caps to pay for my information. So he's not actually getting the debt repaid at all. What's all this about Galaxy News Radio? It doesn't seem like a great way for his for for him to do business, to be honest. A bunch of crap. But I suppose if you wanted to know what was going on in the wasteland, that's the place to go. Me, I could care less. He could care less. He couldn't care less. But we're not going to enter into that conversation right now. The wasteland. Why the hell would you want to go out there? Listen to me, lad. Megaton has everything you could possibly need. Why go anywhere else? Why go anywhere else? Well, because there are other places around. What can you tell me about the place? Don't go where you don't belong and buy your drinks here. That's all you need to Fair know. enough. Is there somewhere else I can buy my drinks if I don't go there? What do you do? Keep these yokels knee deep in booze and food. They keep me knee deep in caps. It's a fair trade if you ask me. I've forgotten the, the conversation. <laughs> I've forgotten the kind of conversations you have with this guy. I own a saloon, kid. Rumors are part and parcel. So I give this you guy's a bad one. Not sure if you've met her, but Lucy West, that pretty young thing, she's afraid. What of who I couldn't say. Someone who's afraid. I could feel the fear on her. And I have to go now. A little bit of caps for some information. So we can go into Moriarty's saloon though, we're okay with that. That guy's waving to me, look. There's Lucy West. I don't recognize you. Have a chat with her first. Sure am, stopped in to find something to do. 
Otherwise, you want to talk with Nova. Nova? I'm looking for someone to make a delivery. Interested? A delivery? Yeah, why not? Great. I'd like Take to all the jobs. To my family in the Arabu settlement. I haven't heard from them in months, and I'm worried. Take all the work. Get there, all the well, all the missions they can give us. Can you give me some information about sure. Arfu? Where is it? That's the most important question. Most importantly, how are you doing? No, wait. Do you suspect your family's in danger? No, not really. Maybe my letters just aren't arriving. Who's the postman? That Kevin Costner, riding about on a horse, delivering the post. Who else lives in Arfu? Like the sheriff of the town, or whatever. Huh? And then there's my family, the Ewer family, and a lady who lives alone named Karen Shenzi. Karen? Someone called Karen. Is there anything dangerous around there I should know about? What? Apart from the wasteland critters? What are the chances? Do you think she? Do you think she's she's going to be a nice person? Occasional landmine? <laughs> no, it's completely safe. Do you think? I don't know. If this was easy, I'd just I check something. Myself, you know. Just check something's working. There we go. Oops, I think we're all good. Uh, yeah, let me ask you something else. I have to go now. Thanks again for doing this for me. It means a lot. I told so, you, God, it ain't the radio. let's go chat to this guy over here. My, my. Just go chat to this guy. My dear boy. Here's Mr. Burke. He's an absolute prick. I mean, he's not a very nice man. My lights seem weird today. Red today. Let me just turn this light around a wee bit. That feels a bit better. Knocking my mic and everything, though. Mr. Burke, is it? Please continue. I'm enthralled. Oh, well, my fingers are going to disappear. Oh, well, not there, but... My fingertips have gone away. This town, this ah, my hand. As a blight on a urban the lighting can be a bit funny. That's a wee bit better. In seemed a bit red. You could assist us in erasing this little accident off the map. I'm, uh... I'm listening. The undetonated atomic bomb for which... This town is named is still fair. Can I ask us to blow up the town? All it needs is a little <laughs> motivation. One sec. I have in my possession a fusion. One sec. Sorry, I just had to do something quickly. Get back to the game. Constructed for a singular purpose. Those people are talking behind us. All we can hear is that. You'll rig it to the bomb, then you'll get paid handsomely. What do you say? Do we want to blow up the town? I don't think we do. Uh, Sims wants me to disarm the bomb. He prides himself on his position as mayor and sheriff of this scrapyard. Um, too many lives are at stake. I'm going to defuse the bomb. You against that particular course of action. If you interfere with my employer's wishes, you will find he can be quite mm, disagreeable. Can he? All right. I'm I'm so scared. Megaton's under my protection. You're going to leave now. Megaton I'm not going to blow up the town. Very well, then. I'm not going to blow up the town. I know that I've been quite cruel to some people in the game so far, but... Hi there. I'm Nova. New but I don't want to blow up the whole town. I'm going to just change this audio playlist because it seems to be switching to like white noise all the time just now. I feel like that's not so good. Um, 
Let me just change to something different. Here we go, let's have something that's a bit like the music in the game. Well, not really, but... That'll be better. I'm looking for my father, a middle-aged guy, maybe you've seen him. Yeah, I remember that man. I saw him talking to Moriarty. Is that loud enough? To forget, handsome men Hopefully like it's not that. too quiet. Talk to Moriarty already and he's trying to charge me for the info. <laughs> yeah, that's Colin's style, all right. That's Colin's style, all right. So much, you'd think the bar was just a hobby. How much for a room? Well, for you, a room and some company will run you 120 cap. Up front. What about just a room? Okay, then. What's the story with the ghoul? Who, Gob? Well, he's a nice, he's a, he, he's a nice guy, really. Sweetheart. Colin's awfully hard on him, though. Yeah. Where'd he come from? Don't talk about it much, but apparently there's a whole city of ghouls somewhere down in the There is. Sea. He's mentioned his mother a couple of times, but other than that, he won't really say. He's been here for... Oh, 15 years. 15 years now. 15 years. Ever since Moriarty bought him off those slaves. Two weeks. Did you ever work with him? With Gob? <laughs> well, he's sweet and... What's the kind of work he's suggesting? It's just... well... Just well what? I don't want to sound shallow or any... Skip that. Even I won't go. Skip that. The Johnnies that are squishier than me are one of them. What? <laughs> well, the miserable Why is Moriarty so hard on him? But Gob gets it the worst. I guess just because he's different, you know? He's different. Sure thing, baby. What did, you what did I have on my mind? Uh, do do do. What were you saying about radio stations? I've already asked these questions. Okay, she's not really helping me right now, so let's stop talking to her. Let's go and speak to him. Hey, hey smooth skin. You need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? Uh, don't say that. Let me think about it for a moment, my good man. You're not gonna hit me. Well, why would I do that? Not even berate me a little bit. Why would I do that? I hadn't planned on it. That's a surprise. I'm used to There's no need to be nasty to the guy. This town giving me shit just because I look like a corpse. I'm glad to see that there are a few worthwhile people around here. Listen. Yeah, I'm not gonna be here a lot. He's gonna give me a discount. But for you. That's what that's that pays to be nice. It's nice to be nice. Oh yeah. I do remember a guy like this. The description we gave middle aged guy. I usually keep my head down. Could be anyone, right? I tend to get smacked around if I look customers in the eye. So talk to Moriarty, he'll know more. Yeah, he's not gonna tell me unless I pay. That's his way. See if he'll oh, give me the info. Caps before people's lives. I wish someone would stand up to him one day. Oh my. Should Shouldn't be saying all this. You say what you like. I'm sorry, I, I really must get back to work. I can't get involved. I'm so sorry. Let me know if the music's too loud in the background, or if it's maybe it's too quiet. Um, where did you come from? It's called Underworld. It's a ghoul city down in DC. It's ghoul city. I set off up here to find adventure and fortune, and well, I found this place. I'm sort of stuck. Yeah, so he didn't quite get what he wanted. So you can never pay the debt. Yeah, no worries. I will do that for you. Where's, what's all this about Galaxy News Radio? It's a good radio station. It's a good radio station. I like hearing the DJ Three Dog and how he's helping to fight the good fight. Only I was a part of that. Let me just check something. Let me just do something. I just want to hear how that's coming through. I just want to hear how that's coming through. Hopefully the audio is coming through okay for you, the the uh the music. That's all I need to know. Sorry, I just wanted to double check a couple of things there just while I was sitting here. There we go, that's better. Now we'll continue. To play the game. Stuck in this dive. 
Yeah, we've done that question already. Uh, we don't have enough speech Sorry. skill to, to convince him to, to help me. Uh, does he say that radio's broken? What's locked for a reason? What are you talking about? Boy's still sitting here, Luke. I told you to leave. I told him to leave. No way I'm helping you. Well, if you change your mind, the offer still stands. Good day. If we could do it with him still in town, maybe that would be that would be worth a shot. So we've got a couple of missions we can do here. So There's what is it now? Colin Moriarty. I don't want to speak to him right now. A couple of missions that we can pick up and do. That is the toilet again. We don't need to go back in there. Don't need to be hanging about there. So mission-wise, we've got a couple of different options here. Um, we've got a few different options here. Some of the ones, a lot of the ones at the bottom are related to um, the DLC stuff, the extra stuff. I don't want to activate it. Can I not repair it? Why is it only giving me the option to activate? I don't want to activate it. I want to deactivate it. Anyway, I don't have the skill required. It's not giving me the option. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Disarm the bomb. Find me. We're going to go to the Super Duper Mart thing for the Wasteland Survival Guide. What about it? What about it, mate? What about it? Switch to the 10 mil pistol. Keep walking. You been to the Cloud District lately? Well, of course not. Oh, we've got the mission where the person um, is creating um, drugs and stuff like that, which is... Wait, where is that mission? Deal with Silver in Springvale. Um, we could do that one. I need the map. So that... I think that's... That's Springvale there. It's not far away. We're going to go and do this first. Enjoy your stay. Thank you. We're going to go this way. She's in like a house up here somewhere. Done this mission before. Let's pop her gun out in case we need it. Oh, I forgot to put my armor on. <laughs> That's better. That's better. Do 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 do. It's one of those I bought things. That's the Enclave robots the guy was talking about that are flying around. No worries. Doesn't do anything, it just uh, just flies about. Pugilism Illustrated, we've got ourselves a wee uh, magazine to help us with unarmed combat. Unarmed increased by one. This is Springvale. And if I remember rightly, the person we're looking for is in that house. Put the gun away just now. Do, do, do. It's the only house in Springvale, so let's go inside. Pinch a load of stuff if we want to. Who the hell are you? Who the hell are you? Um, yeah, he says you owe him some caps. Bastard. He's a he's a liar. He just wants to be dead. Those caps. Caps are all hers. I earned them. Um. Tell me your side of the story. Look, I used to work for that slob, doing, you know, favors for God. The job that that Nova well, person is doing. Well, I got sick and tired of it. I told Moriarty I'm taking my share of the caps and leaving. I even slept with the pig to seal the deal. Didn't sound like the kind of guy we want to work with. So I bolted. I took my money and ran. Now he's branded me a thief and a junkie. Do, 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 do. Sends cronies to find me. I guess I need a new hiding place. I've got Christmas music coming through on this now. We don't want Christmas music coming through on this now, do we? It's the only problem with doing doing this the way I've done it. 
think I will do. Hang on a second. Let me just see. That's fine. Okay. Sorry, I keep messing around with the music. Um, give me some of your caps. I'll tell them you're gone. You do that for me? I never expected anyone to care enough. Here you Christmas go. songs. Thanks, kid. You're all right. She's giving me some of the money. She's giving me three hundred bottle caps. He only wanted a hundred. So if she gives me 300 bottle caps, then I'll tell him she's dead or she's gone or whatever. And he'll never he'll never be any the wiser. And we get an extra 200 bottle caps, all to herself. At least I think we do. It's the perfect, uh, the perfect crime. Is that a... That, that's a trapdoor? We need a key for this trapdoor. I wonder where we find the key for that trapdoor. Seeing as we're here. I wonder if it's around in one of the other houses. Foot locker. Take that cloth. We can take those clothes. Because we can always sell them. <laughs> yeah. You never know what you're going to get on the playlist for that. Bridge. Take all the food. No one else is going to be needing it anyway, so I think we'll be all right. I'm just now I want to find that key. If I can. I've been thinking about maybe playing that game with the cat in it. Um, stray. Because it looks really good. Everyone I've seen playing it has said it's really, really good. Uh, take some scotch and some whiskey. Some scotch and some whiskey. Is that a safe? It's a very easy safe to open. Yeah, I know how to pick a lock. Left. That's way too far. There we go. Uh, bottle caps. Not really that much that was any use to me, but... Seesaw? You can stand on the seesaw, but it doesn't go up and down, unfortunately. I don't think it does anyway. Let me see. Oh, well, that one's broken. What about this one? Yeah, unfortunately the seesaw doesn't go up and down. And that doesn't go round and round. Do you want a bottle of milk? I'm delivering milk. So we're just having a quick look around here just to see if we can find um, this key for that basement. I think there might be a mission where you need to get it, but I'll have a brief peek around in case it's in the ruins of one of these houses. That's a locked cabinet. What could be in there? Uh, beer. Got to keep that beer safe. Keep those beers safe. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look like it's here, actually. Let's have a quick look at this. Area. Just to see if there's anything of interest around. Gotta watch out for these cars exploding. That's empty. That's empty. It's good that it tells me that they're empty, at least. Open the vending machine. We'll have bottle caps and some cola. Plenty of cola around. Um, I think... I think I've probably covered off this whole area, but I'm just going to check that house over there, because I don't know... I don't know that I have, actually. We need to be careful. Um, there's Springville Elementary School. We don't want to go to the school. At least not yet. There's nothing here. We're not going to go down to the school yet. I might go to the door just to mark it as an area on the map. Right, let's go back and get our pay and get our information from this guy. Mail drop box. Steal some cigarettes and a shot glass. I don't know if we can steal the cigarettes. You can't like have them or anything. I think you can. I think the only thing we can really do with them is like sell them, or if we get that gun where you can launch rubbish from it. The rocket launcher. We're going back to Megaton just to see if uh, see if we can get the date, the information we need. A lot of rubbish just lying around. 
strewn all over the ground in the wasteland. There's a bed, look, we can sleep there. Is he alright? You've helped me so much. It seems wrong to ask, but can you spare any more water? Um here. I mean I can just have you. What? Just give it to you? Hell no. Go. Leave me alone to die. Well, the thing is, he's just going to keep asking for water. Maybe he should go in the town. Can he not go in the town? Can he not come and ask for water in town? We're all still breathing. I, know you didn't screw up. I haven't done it yet. He's like, I know you're, we're all still breathing. You haven't screwed up the bomb yet. No, because I haven't touched it yet. Explosive skill of 25 or higher. I don't want to activate it, though. It says activate. I'm scared that... Where did I go? This way. I'm scared that it's going to, like, blow the bomb up instead of letting me disarm it. Because I don't want to blow the bomb up. Um, I've forgotten how I... See, this has always been my problem with the layout of this town in this game. There's a door to a common house. Just your common or garden house, you know? There's Andy. Crack. What's the crack, Andy? I'm afraid I'm quite busy right now. If it's food you're after, talk to Jenny or Leo. Can't help me. I could use some directions. Know anything about the area outside? It's only really if there's anything new that he can tell us about that we don't already know. And obviously, the answer to that is no, he can't. Where's the bar again? I've completely lost my bearings. It's over there. It's over there. Right, so we've got the details the guy wanted. Let's go inside. Making a move? Oh, there's huh? Jericho. Oh, look. This is the guy everyone's been talking about. You wasteland assholes. Assholes. I don't like you. Stay clear of me and we'll have no trouble. He's got a weird tan. You don't look like you belong here. What's your story? There ain't much to tell. We used to live out in the Does anyone look like they belong Real here? Back then. <laughs> In like a wasteland? Have you considered getting back out there? What? Back out where? Out there in the wastes. I left all that behind me. He left all that behind him. Bullshit out there. Killing, stealing, violence. I'm not that guy anymore. He's not that guy anymore. You know? I'm just I do miss killing, it. stealing. Sounds fun, doesn't it? Does it? Life of freedom, you know? Does it sound fun? Come on. Now I'm a wash the bowl raider. What crew is gonna take me? These kids don't know nothing about respect. Probably not. You should come with me, I could use a hand. No offense, kid. But you're not exactly the type I'm used to running from. We're too we're too friendly. A little goody two shoes. Goody two -shoes. Well that was after the that was after we reloaded the save, to be fair. Nah, it ain't so bad here. I got some good memories, but that's all I got. Since they ruined the good ones, you know? Okay, fair enough. My karma is too high to gain that follower. Come. And to be honest, he's yeah. probably not the guy we need to gain as a follower. Do I need something? Oh, I thought that was... He looks like bloody Moriarty. That's a Megaton Settler. That's Lucy West. That's that guy. Where's Where's Moriarty gone? Where is he? He was outside. Now he's not. Yeah, I want to speak to your, your boss. Spill it. Did I get the cash? Are you just thirsty, or are you ready to pay me fee? Dear Dad's not gonna find himself. Are you just thirsty? I took care of silver for you. I hope she got what she deserved. Yeah, freedom. You took care of our little lost lamb, eh? She got exactly what she needed. How about you just hand over a hundred? Hundred caps. I just got. I just got a profit of uh, three hundred. Here's your hundred caps of two hundred. Sorry, no, that wasn't difficult at all. Because I got two hundred <laughs> extra. Something to do with Galaxy News Radio. Guess that'd be the place for you to start. You gotta go to Galaxy News Radio. Thanks for the cap. Yeah, no worries. You didn't get as much as I did. What was it you said about my father again? We don't need to ask that again. Yeah, now we part, mate. Enjoy not realizing that I just ripped you off. He was rip he was ripping everyone else off, right? So I don't see the problem with with uh, with profiting a little bit. 
in that situation, given that uh, I can open, I can nick from this filing cabinet if there's anything in it. Nah, it's just two bottle caps. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna risk getting caught for two bottle caps. Um, I don't. There is an overhaul one that I put on. Yeah, a slight graphical sort of overhaul mod on there. Um, that I put in. Um, I wasn't sure if it was working, but it definitely looks better than uh, than I remember it looking, doesn't it? All the textures look quite a lot, look quite a lot smoother and better, don't they? Come to the right place. That they look far better than I would expect them to. I have got it running on sort of the maximum settings, which is one good thing because it's obviously a bit of an older game. You can run it on the maximum settings, and it looks quite good, you know. Can't even see where I am. I think I need to wait till daytime. But yeah, it looks really good. Almost surprisingly good. Whoops. Considering what well, when did this come out? It was I can't, you know, I can't even remember what the release year for this was. And uh, there's the doctor's place here we can go to. Yeah, there. That we can buy some heat some medical equipment medical bits and pieces from. What's this say? You don't need a howitzer to be a hero. You don't need a howitzer to be a hero. Depends what you're doing, I suppose. You sick? Injured? Why does it matter? Let's talk to the doctor before we go out. Now, before you go asking me for help, you'd better know the rules. Rule one. Don't bother, don't me. bother me. How can I? How can I tell you what's wrong if I? Better be damn near dead. I'm busy enough taking care of. I'm not damn near dead, so. Like. Follow my rule, I'll keep you patched up, I'll keep getting paid, and we'll <laughs> get along just fine. Um, I need something to help. Can you heal my radiation? A hundred caps? If that's the way you want. I, I need something to help me concentrate, I need to buy medical supplies. Quite as good as that. Not quite as good as the stuff that I want, that I usually get, like stim packs, because um, I don't get them anywhere else. Um, we'll keep the baseball bat. I'm going to get rid of the police baton, because I actually think they're pretty rubbish, to be honest. Get rid of that. Am I not wearing the security helmet anymore? Well, that's odd. Well, I'm going to keep it just now. Sometimes I sell off some of the food stuff, like... Well, now, see, normally I wouldn't take the whiskey and the wine and the vodka, but because there's that perk now there where you can take so that every time you drink something... You done? Yeah, I'm done. Oh, no, I'm not. I was going to buy some stim packs. Yeah? But, yeah, it looks really good. Aye, I think the stim packs are generally the most useful thing, to be honest. Um, I'll sometimes keep the... Because yeah, the problem with the food is it all it all has uh, it all has radiation in it, so like all the foods, you're not it's not really not worth. Um, it's really not worth having. Because it is all as you say, it's 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 just not really worth it. I'm not gonna be able to buy twenty six stim packs though. Maybe. If I buy 10, you're talking 370. That would be all my money. Let's have 5. And we've still got 200 caps. Try not to hurt. I will try not to hurt myself. But yeah, I feel like that's probably the best bet, is just to get rid of a lot of the stuff. Oh, shut up about the bomb. We're not going to touch the bomb just yet. Because I... Can I have those goggles? Where'd you get them from? They look pretty cool. We're not going to blow up the town yet, because there's still still missions. You have about 300 where you are in Fallout 4 now. What, the stim packs? Bloody hell. <laughs> Welcome. Um, what am I doing? I want... Uh, which mission do I want? I want the one where we go to the supermarket. Yeah, that's the Wasteland Survival Guide. I'm just going to take my time through this game. Um over the next while, I think. Um, 
and just do all the side missions and look around all the places. I remember one time I played it, I, I managed to get to the point where you can get a perk that um, that lets you see where all the map locations are, which I quite like, and uh, let me kind of go around the map and find everything. What's that radio thing? Uh, where am I trying to go? I want to go that way, that's where the Super Duper Mart is. I really like these games though. Probably this one in New Vegas, as you say, this one in New Vegas probably more than Fallout 4. Um, but yeah. It's uh, it's one of those games, isn't it, that you have to invest a lot of time in. I was planning on playing, like the other day I did, um, I played Morrowind for a little while. But a lot of, a lot of what you do in Morrowind is, well there's something here that we need to watch out for. Obviously, a lot of what you do in Morrowind is you've got to work out where everything is. Which, if you know where everywhere is, it's not so bad. But for me, it's just going to mean a lot of time with me wandering about going, where's this, where's that? So, oh, I think we've been spotted. Mole rat. A wee naked mole rat there. Stop aiming at it. If it doesn't see us, we don't need to worry. It's seen me. My weapon's in poor condition. Oops. That's not dead yet. That didn't help much. There we go. Nothing else is after me, so we're fine. Some mole rat meat. We can sell that in a bit. If I remember rightly, there's a horrible mission down here with bloody ants. If you go too far... There's like a wee boy that comes over and tells you that ants have infested his village, town, whatever. So I've said, I don't, I think you need to be relatively well leveled up to do that mission. Like his ants uh, infested his village, so. Now he doesn't know what to do about it. But I think that they, they like ants breathe fire and all sorts of stuff, if I remember rightly. <laughs> and I don't think I'm set up for dealing with that right now. But we've got to go down to this supermarket. It does say I have to be cautious that there's something nearby, but I can't see what it is. Is it not also down here you get to see, like, robots fighting against them? I'm sure that's... I'm sure that's something in this car park. That bin's empty. That bin could do with... Whoops. Can you give me my pistol back, please? I've... I, I've because of that, I've uh, unequipped my pistol. Which is not going to be very helpful. Oh, we've got a laser pistol. Uh, damage 5, damage 5. We've got no energy cells. So there's no point in me having a laser pistol. Oh. Something's, something's nearby. I don't know where, though. Oh, there's a red marker there on my... Discovered several locations. I can fast travel to them if I want to. Using the world map. Once we start going a bit further afield, that can be useful, but... Yeah, look, here we go. They're fighting... ...against the... ...the eye robots, look. But they are raiders, so... Head. That didn't... that didn't kill him. No worries, no worries, Kel, look. That's one down. Look at that, there's one hanging up there. Anyway. Search him. We've got a 32 pistol now. Uh, we'll take the Raider Pain Spike Armor, although we're not going to use it, but we can sell it. As with everything. Right, so there's, there'll be a body over here, because those robots just killed that guy. At least I think there should be. There he is. Couldn't work out where he was. Take all of this. Raider Blastmaster armor. 
Obviously, we have to make sure that we're not carrying too much. Otherwise, we'll be in some trouble. Vending machine. Take the Nuka Colas. We've got to go inside here. Uh, take that. So we need to be careful. Because this place is full of bad guys. Full of bad guys. So let's be a little bit sneaky. At this stage, our, our sneaking skill's not very high, so the chances are we will be spotted early on in the game. But, there are some options that will allow us to get in and out of places without being seen. Bottle cap mine, some energy cells, some ammo. No worries, Lynn. Thank you very much for being here. I'll see you next time. Locked one. Oh, have a good night. We're going to loot all this stuff quickly as we can. I'll probably be on for a bit longer. Take that laser pistol. Uh, oh, more energy cells. And some dirty water. Right now we're hidden, so we're safe enough. Obviously that could change more dirty water. Don't drink the dirty water. Unless you really have to. Uh, we'll take all this food. Hopefully that'll make these guys move on. Or else we might have to kill them. Well, that made a lot of noise, didn't it? Oops. So there's a few guys kind of patrolling this area. Now, there's a guy up top there that... Couldn't see us at the moment, but oops, they might be able to at some point. So we can just kind of cut around the edge of the, of the supermarket right now to get to where we need to be. But we need to get there where those guys are behind that counter. And obviously we've got this guy who's like patrolling up there. So far not been disturbed by the noise, but obviously that could change. I think we can just jump. Oh my goodness. Oops. We want to just shoot that person as much as we can. Obviously, we can't shoot them in the head if they duck down. But now we're going to be attacked by a lot of people, so we need to move back. Basically, just shoot away at him as quickly as we can. Obviously, we've got ammo for this gun. We've got plenty of it, so just uh, quickly loot his body. There we go, dead. Whoops. At least this has a quick rate of fire, which is good. Need to be careful about our health, though. Whoops. We need to heal. We need to heal. We're in some danger. I'll do. Headshot. One one shot dead. Look at that backflip. I'll give that ten points for style. Shoot him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. That nah, hit him but didn't kill him. He's doing a lot of damage. There we go, he's dead at last. That took far longer than it needed to. We got an assault rifle out of that. And we've leveled up as well. There we go, so now we get... Now we're at level 3, we're going to get two perks again. Which will allow us to get some of these other perks. I'm going to just boost my lockpick. Um, small guns. I'm going to just spend that all on small guns just now. Alright, so now we can pick some more of these perks. Um, I'll tell you what I might do, is I might just take Thief again at the next rank. And it's going to give us another one in a minute. Where it will let me pick another perk. Let's just have a look at these. Oh, yeah, there we go. So now let's pick another one of these perks. Got ambitious, but rubbish. You aim high, but never seem to get there. With this perk, you gain an extra two skill points per level, but do 10% less damage with all weapons. A child at heart, 
greatly improves your interactions with children, usually in the form of unique dialogue choices. With comprehension, you gain one additional skill point whenever a skill book is read. Uh, with coward, you hate cowards. With this perk, you deal plus 200 damage. Plus 200% damage to any opponent that's fleeing. That actually sounds really good. Uh, with the educate perk, you gain three more skill points every time you advance in level. That would be worth taking, actually. Fish boy. Develop gills that allow me to breathe underwater. We also receive 25% less radiation when drinking from irradiated water. Uh, we can be like Grognak the Barbarian. We get uh, more melee power. Higher ground. This perk, while you're standing on a table or chair, your, <laughs> your attacks inflict double damage. With Iron Fist, you gain 15 points of... yeah. Got marksman. 10% more damage to non-moving targets. With this perk, not a morning person. With this perk, when you're forced to be active between the hours of 5am and 10am, you're so angry that you deal 20% more damage. However, this comes at the cost of a lack of awareness due to how tired you are. Um, polar existence. People either love you or hate you. With this perk, people's reactions will be more extreme one way or the other. We can take the scoundrel perk, use our wily charms to influence people. That raises speech and barter skills. Uh, the will to death is what keeps me alive. If you kill the target in vats, 10 action points are restored by going out of vats. Some of these new, some of these perks from this um, mod sound really interesting. Do you know what? I'm going to take this at the third rank just to finish it. There are only three ranks, so we may as well take it at the third grade. I should have taken the one for the extra, the extra points. Um, yeah, let's take those 32 rounds. Oh, he's got an assault rifle as well. I don't really need to take all their armor, but I feel like maybe it, it's worth having it. Uh, what did we have there? Yeah, take all of that. He had two pistols. Did he need two pistols? Wait, I'm giving him all my stuff. Why was I giving him all my stuff? That's the wrong option. Um... Stick with the 10 millimeter just now. Yeah, I, I don't know how I didn't work that out, to be honest. Oh, bottle cap mine. Did this person behind here die? Or are they still about? I feel like I got everybody. Did I get everybody? Oh, there's the person lying down over here. No, I looted them. I always forget about this pit boy light. <laughs> uh, more rounds. And we've got plenty of we've got plenty of carrying space. More importantly, carrying weight, I suppose. So we can take a lot of this stuff at the moment without too much difficulty. Just gonna go over here and see what's over this way before we go behind there. Because we need to go behind that counter to get the stuff we came for. I think. Reminds you of a TV show being made. <laughs> I wonder if it'll look just like this. Where'd you come from? You're gonna tear me apart. There's a Chinese pistol. Um, I'm not gonna take that armor because I've got enough armor, I think, to be going on with. Let's be careful here in case there's more people. Let's just hit the hit the toilet there. Just imagine one of the enemies hiding in one of these toilets. You just, you wandering along, just kicking each of the doors. <laughs> They're just dreading you coming around this next corner. We're gonna go in this other toilet. Someone's been sleeping here, look. Oh, bottle caps. Just taking random bottle caps off these wee tables. And there's some med X as well. But other than that, there's not really much. I don't suppose, you know, like these toilets probably don't smell particularly great, but then I'm pretty sure that this whole wasteland probably doesn't smell particularly great at this stage. You know. I'm not sure that people would be worried about smells, would they? We're going to go through this door here. Which will take us behind these counters. Let's go behind this counter first. Ammo. Getting plenty of ammunition. And some frag mines. 
I love, do you know, I really, really, I really enjoy this game. I don't know why I didn't. Uh, there's Tales of a Junktown Jerky Vendor. I don't know why it's taken me so long to decide to actually play one of these games on stream. I suppose the thing I worry about is, you know, that you have to spend an awful lot of time on it. There's a steam gauge assembly. A wee toy car, I'm not going to bother with that. A science skill of 25 is required to hack that terminal. Dad, did I not invest anything in science? Thankfully, I should be able to hack. You should be able to just pop the door open. Oh shit! Immediately failed. Damn it! Looks like we have to go further to the left there. Maybe here. No. Okay, we went too far that time. There we go. Uh, a leather belt. We don't need the belt. A Braxo cleaner. I'm not going to bother picking up some of the totally worthless stuff. Take the darts. Uh, that's an empty whiskey bottle, so we don't need that. Oh shit, someone's here. More people are here. I believe that's more enemies arriving. Uh, oh, pharmacy supplies. Take all that. So we found medicine in the super duper. There's a mini nuke. <laughs> Let's take the mini nuke. We're getting an awful lot of grenades here. Ironically, it went to eight. What's that? How can we start playing Fallout for a year ago? It hasn't stopped. Bought her new Vegas to try and get her to play the good one. She's still not played it yet. It went to 80% sale the day after. That's just typical, isn't it? Some terminals are protected by password. Yeah, I know. Um, so we have to work out what the password is. If we go fries. None of that's right, which means... Um, that's not right. That's not right. That's not right. That's not right. Nor that. Nor that. Um, or is it? Address. Proud has one. I can't remember if this is the position of the letters or if it's... Spend. There we go. Spend was the password. Log on. It's a Robco... Um, this is for bringing this robot to life. Loading sequence. Move, Move along, please. There we go, it's loaded up. I can't remember if we can do something with this robot or not. Um, okay, he's doing the maintenance. He's set up to be an office helper right now, though. Yeah, I've had these games for ages on both PC and, like, Xbox and everything else. Still love them, though. Nothing to do there. I don't know if that robot's a way to fight them, or what happens with him, I can't remember. There's people behind there. See, he's, he's shooting at them. Wait, are they coming for me? No. They're fighting the robot, so we'll leave the robot to fight against those people. Yeah, that is quite funny though, isn't it, how these things happen. Where you'll get something like that, and as you say, the the price will be one, one price, and then shortly after you've bought it, suddenly it's far cheaper. I don't need a motorcycle gas tank, I don't think. That's a typical sort of thing that happens on uh, on Steam and other sort of things, isn't it? Uh, ten mil rounds, more ten millimeter rounds. We're getting plenty of those. There's another bottle cap mine. There's actually not anything to take here. Oh, I think I'm over encumbered. I am. I'm over encumbered. We've got an over encumbrance. Over by what? One? Um, I'm trying to think what I can get rid of. Miscellaneous stuff. Uh, get rid of those cigarettes. I'm kicking the cigarettes. There we go. Um, I'm wondering, in terms of weapons... 
That actually, the 32 does less damage than the 10 mil pistol. Well, what about the um, assault rifle? It takes 556 five, millimeter ammo, of which apparently I've got 160 rounds. You don't have me on Steam. Just uh, the same, the same username. If you want to add me. I shot at him and he didn't hear it. It's good, isn't it? Wait, did he kill the people that were over here? Who's that? I'm not sure this rifle's much better, to be honest. Did I actually hit him with any of those rounds? Die. There we go, we got him. We killed him. I just uh, send us a friend request if you want. Oh, I've just gone over my weight again. I need to be paying attention. Because we're over encumbered and cannot run. All the miscellaneous stuff that we need to look at. Um, like the milk bottles. We don't need the pilot light or the plunger or the shot glass. I think the steam gauge assembly is at least worth something. Empty whiskey bottles. We don't need those. Perfect. I will accept that request. When I go off. I'm not sure this gun is, is that good. What's the damage rating on this gun? 20? It should be better than the than the 10 mil pistol, but I feel like it's nowhere near as good. Oh, I've got low health as well. I need to be thinking about that. That'll do. Where are you? There we go. Dead. There is also the guy who's up there, but for some reason he's not heard any of this. Or maybe he has shotgun shells. Nobody has a shotgun though, unfortunately, unless they dropped one, did they? Oh no, it would still show up in their inventory if they had. Alright, pal. There we go. Dead. Did this... Oh, we don't need to fire all the rounds. It's okay, we killed him in the first shot. We don't need to fire all the bullets now. We killed him the first time. And there he is there. No head, look. No head, no head. I don't want either of those things. There's where we can have like a Christmas song in the thing. No. <laughs> right, we got what we needed. Uh, we completed the optional quest there of... Where is it? Now we can go back to Moira. So just to save us wandering about, let's just... I don't have a problem with using fast travel if I have to. But I can't do it from inside. We need to be outside to do fast traveling. Oh, the daylight's come now. And what do we see in the morning, in the cold morning light? Not much. Ba -da -ba -bum, ba -da -ba -bum. Except so you can contradict the advice you give me and gift, gift me Fallout 4 VR. I think I've already, did I already pick it up? Let me find out, let me find out. You can definitely gift me that if you like. I'm just wanting to check though because I did pick up a few VR games so I just want to make sure that it's not one I've got installed. I don't think it is, but I'll just check. Because there's no point giving it to me if I already have it. I do have it. I do have it already. Yeah, I noticed that. Uh, let me accept your request. There you go, I've accepted. Uh, do I have Skyrim? Now, now there's a question. Let me just pop this over to... Let me see. I think I have that as well. <laughs> let me find out. Go back to my library. Uh, I just want the VR stuff. Uh, the Elder Scrolls. Yeah, I've got Skyrim. 
I've got Skyrim. Am I okay to go back to the game or should I wait? <laughs> I've got a few VR games on my on my account actually. I got that account in plus game. Um I think which ones. <laughs> but yeah, I've got a few games that are um a few VR games in there. I can go back to the game. Okay. <laughs> now I've got a few VR games in there now. Uh, to try it, to play. With some of them, it feels like I, I can't really do it from a sitting position. So some games it does say you can pick whether you're sitting or standing, but... Watch out for enemies. We've got a better gun out of it. What's that over there? Is that something flying? Oh, it's one of those uh, fly things, isn't it? Bloat fly or whatever. Totally inaccurate from this range, of course. You certainly can't stand now. Balance is awful. Yeah, I mean... I suppose that's the good thing, you know, with like Elite or whatever, obviously you're pretty much just sitting down, aren't you? So... You're just kind of sitting down and you don't need to be moving about too much because you're you're flying a spaceship. Which is entirely done sitting down, I, I imagine. I mean, I've never flown a spaceship before, but I imagine you would do it sitting down. Unless it's like a sort of Star Trek spaceship, you know, where you're wandering about on the bridge telling people what to do. Putting, doing like face palms and stuff like that. Well, let's sell some of the stuff to the guy down here. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. My name is Crow. Vestments of protection. Vestments of protection. the look of one who is haunted. But I am proud to say that my wares can protect you from even the cruel claws of death itself. Protected by the cl from the claws of death. Uh, I'm here to buy. What you buy in? Right, let's see. Um, I don't need to. Sell, I'm not going to sell them any ammo. Got a mini nuke I could sell for 130, but there aren't that many of them in the game, so it makes sense to not sell those. Sell these ashtrays because I don't need them. The food. We're going to sell the Salisbury steak and the mole rat meat and the iguana on a stick. And the dirty water. There's no point in me keeping dirty water. Dandy boy apples. Bit of blamco mac and cheese. I always wondered what the point of these blood packs was. You know, it gives you one HP. <laughs> There's a blamco mac and cheese for you. No, don't cancel the transaction. What's he got for sale, I wonder? Oh, his is all, like, clothes. That'll do. Give me a shout if you need anything else. All we really want to do is take our money off them. Negative. It changes. Please stand clear of the gate. Have I discovered what yet? What? Well, have I discovered what? <laughs> what changes? Right. So let's go visit Moira and see. Who likes blood? What, vampires? Does it make me into a vampire? There's the crater side supply. And Leo. Oh, it's locked. It's not open. She's closed. We can wait for two hours. No, but they do more for you if you become one. Well, yeah, of course. There's just your standard American there, Luke. I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. Got something to say. So, how's the scab <laughs> Whoa, my headphones fell off. Got the food medicine from that super duper mart? The food and medicine. There we go. Really? You did? You did? Yep. <laughs> well, all right. Tell me all about Not all it. Americans, but 
I found raiders and a robot. It was hardly a safe place. We've got to say that one, right? We're going to say that we had fun with some raiders and then a guard robot jumped out of a cake. We're not going to say, I found raiders and a robot. It wasn't safe. We'll say that the guard robot jumped out of a cake. Like in uh, Under Siege or something. Well, as long as it was no problem for you then. I mean, who doesn't enjoy cake? Other than robots, of course. I bet they <laughs> prefer pie. <laughs> or maybe pie. <laughs> yeah, if you say that out loud, it doesn't sound any different. You see, the, tr the trouble is that if you say it like that, maybe they like pie. Or maybe pie. It doesn't really work as a joke. Take this. It's an old it, food sanitizer. Because in real life, you're not seeing the words floating in front of you. Make most food and drink more <laughs> I'm ready to continue research on the first chapter. I still need to study a living specimen with radiation poisoning. I need someone to research how to travel through a oh, minefield. Oh, travel through a minefield. And that'll cover the first section of the book. Which strikes your fancy? Do you want to die this way or that way? <laughs> What's this about radiation? Well, that's what I need your help for, isn't it? How many rads do we need to get? From books, but I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. So I need you We need to tell her like ridiculous stories every time. So I can study it. So that her book's just absolute nonsense. Deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that. Okay, I'll do it. She does fix us up afterwards, so. Or at least some sort of hardy fruit that grows in the savagely irradiated mockery of agriculture we have nowadays. Now, 200 rads What kind do you think? What kind of fruits can grow or vegetables can grow more rads? in a in a even more accurate. in a wasteland of radiation? Just make sure we can get back. I mean, we could fast travel back, right? Um, contract radiation sickness. We need 200 rads. Or we can do 600 rads. What do we think? I'm trying to think where I can go to be exposed to that much radiation. Bye for now. Um, I'm just wondering, if we go down here... Does the bomb give up enough, give up, give off, well, yeah, space, yeah. In space, no one can, no one can, I don't know. Yeah, I was, I. We can do two rads a second. So if I, does it work if I wait? I cannot wait while being irradiated. We can just stand here until we get 200 rads. We're getting two rads a second there, so it makes more sense. Hi, how are you doing? Don't mind me, I'm just getting irradiated. How's it going, folks? How long is it going to take me to get there, do you think? Uh, rads. Need to see how many rads I've got on me now. That's rad! Uh, we got 76 now, so it won't take too long. 76? Fall out, eh? 76. Can we stand here to get 600 rads, do you think? How long will it take? At 2 rads a second, 600, it would take 300 seconds. Eat traded stuff. Oh, of course. Oh, but I've already sold it, haven't I? I've already sold it, haven't I? Um, beer. We can eat some iguana bits. And if we drink this new Coca-Cola... And we get some free, uh, we get some free bottle caps for that. Uh, that takes the rads away, we don't want that. The vodka doesn't, the whiskey doesn't, the wine doesn't. I guess that's it. How many rads are we on now? We're going to get mutations and stuff like that as well. We're now on 146. That's a bit better. So, 600, so we're, what? 460 or something. 450. Rads, we need it. Two rads a second, that's going to be 225 seconds. We could probably do that. Can I drink the water? You now have radiation poisoning? Oh yes, I can. Oh, look at what that did for me. 
That can put me up plus 20 rads a second for a minute there. How many rads does that put me on? 259. Let's do it. Let's drink. From the puddle of radiation. <laughs> Where are we at now? 343. 343. It's a halo reference there. My radiation level's increased. Soon I'm going to be... Uh, I'm now sick with advanced radiation poisoning. No, we'll be there in no time at all. Apparently you're great at being bad at this game. Well, to be fair, we're supposed to do it, so... We're at 477. He is coming with the clouds! The clouds don't do that. The clouds don't do that. Uh, we're at 560, so not long now. One more should do it. One more drink should get me there. There we go. Critical radiation poisoning. Fantastic. Let's get up there now and get healed. Imagine if she goes, Oh no, I can't heal that much radiation. <laughs> what did you do? What have you done to yourself? Oh, for fuck's sake. I can't even remember how to get back there now. Where the hell is it? Up there. Yeah, there it is. The resplendence of the promise of their division. I can... How do I get there? Up here. Okay. Sorry, I'm closed for the night. Fuck you, I've got 600 rads. <laughs> she, better, she better cure this radiation. Ah, I'm covered in radiation. Ah, watch out. Don't come near. Don't come near. <laughs> oh, feeling a bit under the weather, or a bit over the Geiger counter? Definitely over the Geiger counter. But about as radiant as I can get without burning a hole in the floor. I can tell you're positively. <laughs> could say afterwards, I'm really not comfortable yeah, with getting irradiated. Try not to move. Tell me how it feels, and I'll get you fixed right up. How does it feel? Just do your examination and fix me up. You're a mighty lucky one. You know that. At this state, most people have trouble standing up, much less walking <laughs> over here. Yeah. Now, let me take a few notes, and I'll handle that nasty... It's our own homemade rad cure. homemade rad cure concoction. I've never had a chance to test it out on someone so heavily dosed. Oh, no. But I'm sure it'll oh, no. be fine. <laughs> exciting, isn't it? Oh, no. It is exciting, yeah. A little ramen milk, a couple magnets. Magnets? How do they work? There we go. Alive. Oh, that's the good news. But there was a little side effect. A what little side effect? Tiny, um, a mutation. mutation. Uh, but it seems to be benign, at least. We've grown an extra arm. Here, take a few radiation chems. As my little way of saying, I'm sorry I twisted your DNA like a kitten with a ball of yarn. Fair play. Now when I suffer from advanced radiation poisoning, crippled limbs automatically regenerate. That sounds really helpful. Or like Wolverine or something. Let's finish up with the landmine research. Landmines are one of the few dangers out there that you can profit from. Disarm one before it blows, and you can sell it for plenty of cap. Uh huh. I've heard stories about a ghost town that's just full of mines. Well, that's right. Called a place minefield. Is this place that we're going to? Is it not got a guy sounds in it like that's like watching you? Work. Get in there. Get back and tell me all about it. And could you bring back a mine for my studies? I'll head to minefield. Oh, don't worry. No one ever goes there because they say it's a ghost town. Says a ghost town. Ghosts ghost don't exist. It's fine. You can just focus it's on not, land mines. That's not what a ghost town means. Here, there's a playground in the middle of town. Reach that point and come back, and I'm sure you'll have some stories to tell. So what we tell her? She doesn't go out in the wasteland, so. Have to go now. With that research. So we gotta to go to minefield. Yeah, which one, mate? Um so what are our ready rads at? Our rads are at zero, so that's good. Um but also we've got a moderately beneficial mutation out of that. Right, so minefield. Oh, we're going to a minefield. 
Oh, there's a mission where you can fix these leaks. I'll come back and do that at some point. We're all still breathing, so I know you didn't screw up. I didn't screw up, you're right. It doesn't seem to be giving me the option to repair it. Maybe it's because I've just not even got enough science skill to even look at it. We could use those mentats to get that up. I think that's what I do every single time I disarm the bomb. I use mentats to level up my my uh, skills. Just briefly until I can fix it. Right, we're going to go to this minefield. I seem to remember this mission being a bit of a pain. Because it's not quite a, as much of a ghost town as people think it is. I'm hidden, it's fine. We're hiding, it's okay. Do do do. It's a pity in a way, you know, that the the skills don't level up the way they do in like um, some of the other, you know, like the Elder Scrolls games, where you just do the thing repeatedly, and it levels it up. Instead, we have to like spend points in each thing, which is fine. It's how the game works, but. It's all coming from like Oblivion and stuff where they did do that. Although the leveling system in Oblivion is a bit of a pain in the arse. What was that? Oh. You fucker! Where did that come from? Who attacked me there? Someone over there. He's shooting at me from over there. Someone inside the elementary school. They're not going to find me now, so it's fine. They're not going to come out, I don't think. They just shot me from halfway across the world. It's not very nice. Oh, danger. Will Robinson, danger. You notice those uh, Protectrons kind of look like the robot from Lost in Space. I assume they're supposed to look like the robot from Lost in Space. What's that? What's this place? No, I think we're okay. And I mean from the original Lost in Space, not from the Netflix series. Caution. You're on a caution, son! We gotta be cautious. But there's nothing actually nearby. There's nothing near enough by to be worried about. Where are? Where is this place on the map? Well, that's actually quite far away. Well, that's actually quite far away. But it's fine. It's actually kind of weird playing this game without the... without the radio stations on. Um, but obviously, the music is... I believe most of the music will still be copyrighted, so... I don't think it's old enough yet to be public domain. If it ever, if music ever does become that, I don't know. Some films do. What's this place? That place? Oh, there's something up here. There's a mole rat. I'm not scared of mole rats. I ain't afraid of no mole rat. As, uh, as somebody once sung. We've not actually got a lot of ammo left for this. There's another one over there. I'm assuming it's another mole rat. One day there'll be some kind of nuclear war and then nobody will care about the music thing. Yeah, that's true. That is true. That head just... It said that its head was... Um, damaged, but it was more than damaged. It didn't have a head when I was finished with it. Oh, raider. There's a raider. There's a raider. Playing with my heart. Do you know, I was looking at something earlier. I was watching um, a Sporkle thing with, like, uh, music clips. And it played... Uh, one of the music clips was for... A, a Ronan Keating song. Whoa! That sounded exactly like a Westlife song. 
Look at that. Look at that. The gun wasn't even aimed at his head and his head flew off. I mean, my gun was aimed past his head. Right. This is the place, I think, just coming up. I think we did just step on a mine, to be fair. So we need to be careful. I'm going to save my game here. I'm just going to save my game here. It is pretty much the same, yeah. I can't remember what song it was, but it did sound like... It was the replacement when the first lot got too old, exactly. That's exactly what it was. Exactly what it was. Actually, I heard as well a, a clip of that single by that band, Bewitched. I think one of them was related to members of... Was it Westlife? Were they all mem related to members of Westlife? Oh no, I, I know, I, yeah. It's it's the kind of the pop, the kind of pop thing, isn't it, you know? Eventually, they get too old. Unless you're like a, unless you're like a, like, you know, like um, a member of that group of Tory tax evaders, you know, the, the, take that. Did I say that out loud? No. And then they tell you, they, they tell everyone that you're a man band instead of a boy band. <laughs> the Tory tax evaders have take that. Or is it avoiders? I don't know. Was it avoidance or evasion? You parody their songs every time. I did think that was funny when uh, the other night when it was suggested to do a take that song. I was like, uh... <laughs> I'll sing any song that is suggested to me, but... But yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I'm not a big fan of theirs. I never was, to be honest. I never really enjoyed their stuff when they were at the height of their popularity, you know, early on. I think that's the place we're trying to get to. And we need to grab some landmines. We advert for a car, look. I love all these ads and things in the game. You know, all the, all the cars and all the... In this kind of alternate history where they've actually been able to harness nuclear power in ways that they've never been able to really, you know. <laughs> Imagine having a car with like a bloody nuclear reactor inside it, like these things over here are. <laughs> right, let's be careful because this is the this is the place. This is minefield. So let's be careful. I think there's also a guy that shoots at you in here somewhere. There's minefield. Okay, so we need to be on the lookout for mines now. Which means just sweeping the ground in front of us. Hockey mask. Can we get in this house? That's the Gibson house. We may as well try and loot some houses while we're here. Hello? Are you alive? I guess not. Don't need another hockey mask. We've got one. That's enough. May as well take a look through the houses while we're here. Nothing in the desk. Saves us coming back later. <laughs> Could drink some irradiated water out of the taps. Wonder who killed that person. I don't know why I took that pre-war book. Nothing in here. I actually quite like the sort of ambient music that I have put on in the background. It's not very loud, but it's just quite a nice little sound to have in my ear. I don't know if you can hear it. Oh. Maybe the skeleton will come back to life. Go for a wee nap there if we want. I uh, don't want the dirty pre-war casual wear. 
There's actually nothing in here, so... Oh, there's a safe. I almost I almost left without without looking at this. Damn it. We've got 20 bobby pins. Damn it, Bobby. Uh, we'll take the pre-war money. Um, I'm not going to take the Chinese pistol because they're not very good. Uh, med X. Take some Med X injection needly things. And leave. So that's the first house. Empty. <laughs> Whee! So we, we King of the Hill reference for you there. There's a landmine, look. You fucker! That was that was not that was not something I expected. I didn't think that it would go off so easily. Right, in that case. Let's do this. Did I destroy that mine? Or is it gonna go off? I don't know how we Whoa. Somebody's shooting at me. There is a guy, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's a guy up there, Luke, who shoots at me. You fucking hell! Oh, the car blew up. The car exploded because of what he did. I didn't even think. I don't know if we're going to be able to retrieve a landmine. Honestly. <laughs> But yeah, that guy up there is going to be a problem. We need to cross this road and try and get in that house. There he is, Luke. You were making King of the Hill references on your own? Only further do you believe you're on the Truman Show. Well, yeah, that, that it's always interesting, isn't it? When somebody ends up doing something similar to something you were doing. I'm wondering if I go quickly enough. Can I just take it? There we go. We got a frag mine for her. Well, that one's a hard lock. I don't have enough lock picking skill to get in that door. Okay, we don't need any of that. So there's a guy on top of that building. Open the lawnmower. We can take a lawnmower blade. Oh, that's useful for making a weapon later, I think. Oh, shit. Get back. Get back. Get back to where you once belonged. He's not shooting me. He's shooting the bloody cars. So that's going to explode as well. Fucking hell. This guy's not messing about. I wasn't supposed to tell you. I wasn't supposed to give it away. He's running now. I mean, he's still seen me. He knows I'm here. He was shooting at me, so... Watch out for landmines in this area. Arkansas, that's his name. Arkansas. I ain't scared of you. Is he going to come and fight me hand to, head to head now? Hand to hand. We need, still need to go to the... I think we've actually gone past the place we need to go to. It's like a playground we need to go to, but we may as well deal with this guy first. Coming to get you, you prick. Hope you're ready. I see you up there. Come on. There you are, old man. He's got a sniper rifle. I want it. Of course, we need to be careful because that... Oh, no. There's landmines here as well. That's a problem. <laughs> Your parents' smart home stubs went offline for a moment. And when you were looking into it, it was fast scrolling the security video. Doing the King of the Hill tune to yourself as you walk... Yeah. <laughs> uh, that assault rifle's kind of shit. Whoops. Okay. Now we're going to have to start that all over again. Did I save before I did this? I thought I'd healed. That was a nasty wee boom, wasn't it? Right, we got to try and get ourselves a landmine quick. There we go, we got our landmine. He's going to shoot at that car. I need a better gun to shoot him with, Luke. Whoa. 
There was a mine right there. I got killed by him. <laughs> Doing the King of the Hills, you walk through the garden, people walk by. <laughs> uh, that's fine. Um, he's shooting the cart. Right, we got the landmine she wanted. We need to just go, go to the playground. This used to be my playground. And there's a house over there we've not gone into. Oh, shite. Every time we get near a car, he's going to blow it up on us. And he's just blown up another car. Let's open this house. You can force the lock as well, but it's like a 15% chance. I think there's rad roaches in here. Put, pop my light on so I can see where they are. I feel like this gun's rubbish. Wow, okay, that was a that was a critical hit if ever I saw one. Tell you what, these rad roaches are exploding. <laughs> I don't like it up them. Um. One there, no. Are they coming down? They must be upstairs. More roaches upstairs. Not anymore. Ah! Reload. There we go. I'm not... Oh! There's a lot of them in here, to be fair. There we go. I don't hear any more, so maybe that's it. Grognak the Barbarian! Don't mind if I do. Wait, what was that? That one's legs rattling around, look. That toilet's been smashed. Toilet's been broken. There we go. Oh, a safe. There's a safe. Not a very safe safe, but it's a safe nonetheless. How safe is your safe? Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. I don't think I need to take it as far as that. I think probably there's enough. Yeah, there we go. Bottle caps. It's mostly the bottle caps that we want that we want out of this place. Oh, another one. I've just wasted all my assault rifle ammo on the on these bloody roaches. Uh, in fact, I have completely run out of ammo now. Um, which one's in the best condition of these ten millimeter pistols? Oh, we've got the laser pistol. Let's try the laser pistol. Because we've got like 120 odd things in that. Right, we're going to go out of here. So the good news is I was here when that exploded, so it shouldn't do me too much harm. The bad news is that old man's away up there. Sneak attack critical we got on him. Right leg crippled. So that was quite a good, uh, that was quite a good shot there. Need to be careful though, because there's more of these landmines here. That absolutely obliterates them. Okay, so we use the, uh... Use the laser rifle, the laser pistol on the, uh, things and get rid of them. I want this guy's gun. Look how much damage we did to him on that one hit! He's dead. <laughs> Problem solved. We just obliterated him. Right, I'm gonna go and get his gun. Before I go down and go to the um, playground thing. Let's watch out for mines up here though. We're okay up here. It's down inside there that we need to be careful. There's one there too. I'll tell you what, this gun's great for getting rid of landmines. Did I just hear something moving? No. I think we're good. This thing's great for getting rid of landmines. But let's be careful that there aren't any right where we're standing. Good news is there are none there. None on the steps. I think we're probably alright at this stage. This is where the old man was uh, hiding out. We don't need another baseball bat. Oh, cherry bombs. Is that a crutch? 
Oh, what's this? Medical brace. We don't need that. Where did he die? Up above. I think we still have to go up a bit to get his gun. He just absolutely, like, destroyed the guy. Do I have to jump up? Can I get up this way? No. Oh, you fucker! There was a bloody landmine right there. How did I get up to where he was? Were there steps? Yes, there were. If I'd looked, we'd have found those steps. Right, what are we doing? So his body is just a pile of ash on the ground. Uh, we'll take these lock boxes first. Hopefully he's got ammo for that sniper rifle. Damn it. He does, I think. I think it's the 308 that we needed. I might be wrong. Yeah, I think it's the 308 rounds we need. Because he's got loads of them. There's his body. Got a gate key for Ridgefield, whatever that is. There's the sniper rifle. Right, I'm going to be back in just a minute. I need to go to the toilet. Back in a sec. And we're back. I like this music I've got, because it's not... Oh, what's happened? The game's not coming back up on the screen. Are you serious? Yeah, I know there is. Open it. Let me see it. The game's not coming back. The annoying thing is that I haven't saved since I killed that guy. Hang on a sec. Why the hell? This would be typical. I'm going to have to close it and try and reopen it. And that means we're probably going to have lost our progress there. One sec. It's coming. It should be coming up on the screen. There we go. Let me just hit continue. Yes, continue from my last saved game. Okay, so the good news is, the good news is that there was a, what the fuck? The good news is that uh, there was an autosave just before we did that, so we should be okay. Do need to kill him though. Never mind, he's still shooting at me. Where was he? He's up there somewhere, there he is. He's dead, okay. Now we can, uh... Oh no, he's not dead. I thought he fell down. Is he coming? He's coming over. He's coming to see me. It might be, anyway. Couldn't hit that bloody landmine. There we go. Is he going to come out of there, or is he... He must be close to dead. I thought I downed him. But he isn't dead. Oh, he's fully healed. He must have gone down to heal himself. That must have been where he went. To get some stuff to heal himself with.
Is he running away again? guy's running away. He's away to heal himself again. Oh, no, he's not. Look, here he is. Where's his gun? Where's his gun gone? There we go. Arkin saw me, he did. He must have dropped his rifle. And went back for the baseball bat. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Get rid of these landmines first. I think there's another one over there somewhere, but I can't see it. I hope I haven't, because I don't know if I'll be able to find it. Where was he? He was on that platform there. Well, you'd think that would mean it would have fallen to there. Well, that's really frustrating. Imagine we've now lost the sniper rifle because of that. Ooh, okay. Let's be careful there. There we go. It says to be cautious, but there's no one here. Right, we'll go up we'll go upstairs. And see if he dropped his gun somewhere up there. Yeah, that's why he ran away the first time, because he needed to get his, uh, bat. Do you think it could have gone across the road? Would it have gone that far? Oh, is there bad guys across the road? Alright. Now that they know that the town's been taken, been fixed up. Don't know what that gate key was for either. No, he look, he dropped it, but it's, uh, it was right there. Apparently if he drops his ammo, it drops his gun, he doesn't pick it up. Oh well. That saved me a bit of trouble. Across the road. Or is it like up there? We're alright just now. Let's get out of here. I got what I came for. Well, almost. Broken. Ah, that's why. We broke. I think we must have. Oh, behind? Over this way? Oh yeah, probably there. Yeah, you might, yeah. We broke his rifle, so we need to repair it. Which means at the moment I'll need to get someone to repair it. Which way? This way? Over this way? <laughs> I've looked in every possible direction. Maybe I haven't. I'll tell you what though, this, this, uh, this laser pistol's not bad. I'm wondering what that gate was that I got the key for. I'll have to look at that as well. But first of all, let's get to this playground. So that we can say... We Wait, is that what we're supposed to do now? Yeah, it is still wanting me to get to the playground. We need to do that quickly. To watch out for mines. There's the playground. There's the playground. I don't know how she knows that I got to the playground, but, you know. What I want to know is what that key was for that I found on his body. Whoa, landmine. There we go. Was that for this? Oh, it was. Let's just uh, creep around a bit. Nothing in that suitcase. Uh, paint gun. Oh, I'm over encumbered by picking up a paint gun. So I guess we want to drop that. Don't need a pre-war book either, to be honest. Right. 
I'll take any uh, stim packs you've got though. Is that that TV making that noise? What's this radio? Let's turn it off. We needed a key to get in this place. Is there nothing in it? Like, it seems to me if we needed a key to get in this place, there must be something worth getting in here. Maybe another safe upstairs. I suppose. A dead guy. I don't need another 10mm pistol, to be honest. There's another dead guy. Did he kill all these people, do you think? Uh, I don't really need any of that. Uh, a lunchbox. We're not over encumbered, so... Yeah, we'll take the lunchbox. Cherry bomb. Ch -ch 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 Cherry bomb. Nothing in this dresser. There's a broken computer. Pre-war book. Oh, DC Journal of Internal Medicine. I hope that wasn't what the only thing that was here. Bounce on the bed for a while. There's the safe. I can see it now. Woo! Nice bouncy bed. There we go. Uh, we got some 10 mil rounds. We got some bottle caps. Some pre warm Oh, a silenced pistol. I mean, it's a silenced pistol. It's kind of... It does less damage than the regular one. It's silenced. Was that it? That was kind of a rubbish collection of stuff to find. Considering that we had to get a key and everything to actually get in. I think we're okay. Oh, and there's a grognak as well. Better read it. No way. Just seems like not very much. I got spaced up. I got spaced up? What do you mean? I'm not sure I understand. Did I miss it? Oh, specked up. Yeah, I got a silenced pistol. <laughs> okay, I think we're good. I think we can get out of here now. Let's get the hell out of here. Right. So we're going to go back to... Um, I'm going to just use the fast travel to get back to Megaton. Oh, my skills. Oh, yeah, I got a couple of books to spec to level up my skills, yeah. You want something? I want to put my gun away. Hang on. We got there. Ah, yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, I got a couple of skills spec'd up. But that was, that was all we had. Uh, we have to wait till morning now. Uh, no, seven hours. Let's get a nice eight hours sleep standing outside. Just a nice eight hours sleep standing around outside. There we go. You alright? I did your stupid thing. little potatoes? Because, you know, they're on the ground. They're on the ground, potatoes. like potatoes. And hot because potatoes, potatoes are under the ground. Load. Anyway, what's up? I got through minefield alive. I even brought you a present. He got a t-shirt. He got this t-shirt. You know, I got through minefield alive, and all they brought me was this uh, t-shirt. What? I got through minefield my alive. My own landmine. Oh, just what I've always wanted. My very own no. landmine. I sent you out on this anyway. Now, tell me all about it. What was it like going through there? What's it like disarming a Let's see what options we get for telling her about it. Fast hands and faster wits. Fast hands and faster wits can get you an awful lot, including landmines. Uh, oh, disarming, it's really easy. Just jump up and down on it. You go first. Yeah. You think I'm an idiot? <laughs> I may be a little impulsive, but not an idiot. <laughs> I'll just take a look at this on my own, then. I know you may not want to see any more explosives for a while, but obviously you know your way around them. 
I have a couple rainy day toys of mine. And Thank you. At this landmine, it gives me an idea. It's a terrible device. That does terrible device. Cool. Terrible things. But it's easy to make your own too. We got our own though. Ow. Is the first chapter done yet? It definitely is. I'm trying to put that same great sense of humor you've got into the book. Great Keep sense of humor. And it'll inform and entertain. Infotain, Here, perhaps. For your services, I've saved up quite a few stim packs. Oh, good. Of course, you may need them. We've still got two more chapters to go. I wasn't wanting them just, just for fun. Just to keep. The second chapter is going to be a bit trickier, I think. It'll cover how We've leveled up. Creatures out there. For better or worse. Cool. For example, repelling how to repel rats. mole rats. Uh, to shoot at them. My alerts, fuck's sake. Sales, how to handle being injured. So let's buckle down and get to work on this chapter. What's first? Tell me more about repelling mole rats. Mole rats can burrow into almost anything and cause a lot of trouble. So I figured I'd make a chemical repellent stick for people to shoo them off. But I need a chemical repellent before I put the recipe to paper in the guide. So I need you. There's mole rats just outside Megaton. And test it out a bit. It'll be easy. I know where One tap with the applicator and it overwhelms their senses with a sort of feel bad sensation. A feel bad sensation. It feels bad. You, know it, you could test it out on just a few mole ratties. But for real testing, it feels bad. Try it, on 10. it does or feel more. bad. There should be plenty in the tepid sewers downtown. Let's talk about the mole rat repellent. Let's not. I have to go now. There we go. We've leveled up, which means we're going to get two more perks. We're going to put small guns up to 50. Sneak up to 55. Uh, we'll put speech up to 20. Um... I'm going to put that to 20. I'm going to put that to 20. I don't like these things being on... Uh, I don't like these things being on odd numbers. Right, so now we can pick up some more perks. Like the will to death. The will to death is what keeps you alive. With this perk, if you kill a target in vats, 10 action points are restored. Upon exiting vats. Scoundrel. Take the scoundrel perk and you can use your wily charms to influence people. Each rank raises your speech and barter skills by 5 points. That might be useful. Um, not a morning person, that's that one with the daytime. 10% uh, more damage to targets that are not moving. With Iron Fist, we do an additional 5 points of unarmed damage. I don't really use unarmed damage. If we're on higher ground, we get uh, to do extra damage. Double damage, in fact. That actually seems like a really good a really good perk to pick up. Um, fish Boy. Educated. I'll tell you what I do need to do, actually. I'm just, I'm thinking, I can take intense training up to five times. Um, but also, I can take... I think I've taken Thief three times, so I can't take it anymore. Do you know what I think we need to take? We need to take Educated. And in a minute we'll get it again. It'll come up as if I've leveled up again, but obviously I haven't. There you go. But it lets us take two perks. Right, so we're taking that. Any new ones on that list? No. I'm going to take intense training at another level, I think. So we've taken one of their perks, I think, did we? No, that wasn't one of their perks. That's one of the normal ones. So let's take one of the weird perks as well. With you, with this with this one, you hate cowards. With this perk, you do 200 damage, 200% 200 extra damage to any opponent that's fleeing. Let's have that. That feels almost like, feels almost like cheating. <laughs> feels almost like cheating. Right, so now we've got to repel mole rats. I don't remember if there's actually a marker for this. Well, there you go. Test the repellent on three more, ro three mole rats. What else did that say? Test it on seven mole rats. Oh, there's still that thing where we have to fix those pipes. I realise that I'm way over my normal time now. I'm going to probably do this mission. This is the trouble with Fallout, you know, is I will play this game for ages. It's difficult to put down. It's one of those games that's difficult to put down. Uh, repellent stick. 
So we need to have this repellent stick to wave it around. There's mole rats around this corner. That's true. Those games, I mean, I even even me who doesn't play them that often, if I do play them, honestly, I'll get stuck into the game forever. Any of those sorts of games. Any of those sorts of games I can spend, I could sink hours into. I just don't know if it's so good for... Those kind of games are so good for streaming, to be honest. Wow, okay, that did a lot of damage. There we go, that's three mole rats, but we want to kill another four. There's some more around here. Come and get me, mole rat. I'm not scared of you, not with this stick. Oh, I've been, uh, one of my limbs has been damaged. Better fix that. Actually, my other arm's pretty bad as well. I'm sure out here there's like a hollowed out rock somewhere, but I can't remember where it is. I'm sure there's a hollowed out rock somewhere up here that you can get some useful stuff out of. Maybe you don't get it until you've done a particular mission. But yeah, you're right, those games you could sit there for ages. I wonder if you can actually see anybody doing anything inside town. It's quite funny looking at a megaton from outside, because you obviously can't actually see anybody doing anything. Oh, there's a mole rat, I think. Well, I thought it said danger. Danger, Will Robinson. We still need to find... <laughs> It'd be good if you could see inside, you know. But all I mean, you can see inside, but you can't see anybody. Because obviously it's not loaded. It's not actually loaded in. Now we've got to look for some more, mole, some more mole rats. We may as well do it to the second kind of level, to the optional level. Even though it is optional. May as well do it. Come on, mole rats. Here I am, mole rats. Bring it on. I'm not scared. But maybe they are. Maybe the mole rats are scared. Possibly. They might be. Come on, bring it. Bring it on. The trouble is we have to kind of just wander about looking for where they might be. Boys still need water, look. At this stage, I kind of feel like he could probably get water himself. Quite easily. I don't know if it's worth me trying to find another three mole rats. There's one. There's one. Seriously, does a lot of damage to them. So now we need um, two more. If we go crouched, then we can see if there's an enemy, if, if there's a monster nearby. So far, no. We've not even uh, gone anywhere with the main story so far. But that's the great thing with these games, you know. You could spend hours not doing any part of the story at all. Just wandering about outside. Da, 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 da. Oh no, what's that? Just a rock. Ba, 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 Oh, I've got that Star Trek song in my head. Nothing there. Come on, mole rats. Where are you? I know you're here. I only need two more, just two more mole rats, and then we can, then we can go home, and go home, out in the world. Oh, we can go home, we can go to Megaton. Still no bloody mole rats here. <laughs> you know the tune, but couldn't play it. It's, yeah, it's not a, it, it seems like it's not a straightforward kind of one to, 
to play, maybe. There are no mole rats around. I need mole rats. They don't want to be my guinea pig for this uh, for this repellent stick. I'm not sure. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know. I don't know how this is a repellent stick. It's just a stick that you can kill mole rats with, which is fine. You couldn't place it. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about what? That's all right. Nothing to be sorry about. Da, da, da. Do you know what? I'm going to just uh, turn this in now, I think. I don't want to spend hours trying to work out where I'm all right. Oh. Danger. Oh, look. That is a dog. Oddly enough, the repellent stick doesn't work against dogs. But... Oh, is that right, huh? There you go. Oh, his leg came off. I feel bad. I feel bad his leg came off. Only a little bit, like, not, not like... Not extremely, but a little bit. I say, there, there is a... There's a... I'm sure there's a bit... Right, we're going to have one more lap around this area. Just see if we can see any mole rats nearby. If we can't, then we're going to go back to town and just turn in the mission at this stage. Because we're still going to get a reward for that, but I feel like... The seven would be better. I thought that was a mole rat fighting that thing. And then it turned out to be a dog. There's the odd moment I'm noticing as I'm playing this where the game does kind of freeze for a second you know it just does a bit of a freeze and then carries on just every now and again but it seems okay da 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 I've now lost my way to Megaton. Right, we're just going to go back and turn this in. Oh, there's Megaton. You can't miss it, really. It's a massive uh, blot on the landscape. Don't suppose there's any new ones down here. Nope. I was hoping maybe some of them might have respawned. Wrong Bethesda game. Absolutely. <laughs> Right, we're just going to go back in and just turn this mission in. <laughs> I think I'm probably going to try and play some of those as well. As I say, I was playing... Um... Looking for the mayor or the sheriff? I'm not looking for either. What's your problem? Um, I tried playing Morrowind, but... I think it's just a little bit too... There's a little bit too much kind of... Where is this? What am I go Where am I going? What am I doing? To make it much fun to play on a on a stream. I can't wait to hear how the repellent's working. Yeah, it works great. Test the repellent on a few more rats. Just a few? Well, I'm sure it'll be good enough. It's not really a repellent, so, though, is it? How did my chemical Unless... repellent work? Safe and clean like a charm, I bet. Unless the mole rats are spreading the word. It repelled their limbs from their body. Can you make one that works on people? That's... It's just <laughs> terrible. Besides, I'm sure you've got plenty of ways to do terrible things to People. That's exactly the right thing to say. I guess it's <laughs> repelled the limbs off them. Repellent. I wonder if I can make it into some sort of fuel. Uh, anyway, I'll just take that. Oh, but but for your trouble, um, got some leftover cams. Leftover cams from working on the repellent. I'm sure you can find some use for them. Probably. I'm ready for more research. I don't know about Mirelurks. I hesitate to ask, but I'll need to examine the effects. Examine the effects of serious physical trauma. I wouldn't ask. She can fix me up afterwards, though. Uh, let's study the Mirelurks. They're pretty dangerous. In some areas, and knowing more about them can help people learn to avoid. Plus, we probably have to go quite far. So I picked up this observer device to study them in their natural We just need habitat. to observe them. I need you to hide one in one of the spawning pods in their lairs. Fair enough. 
sneaking into a mire lurk lair, the pay better be worth it. While you're working on that, I'll be following up on a Ooh, stealth boys. A stealth boys. When you're done, they're yours. I do like the stealth boys. Who knows? Maybe we'll learn something useful from the mire lurks. <laughs> Sounds like some kind of um. That's great. I don't know, some kind of I weird electronic band. Memorial. The Stealth Boys. I knew a trader who talked about just the this weird band in general. There. Just go inside and find one of their oh, just, just wander in. Probably down near the wall. Lurks, no bother at all. Observer inside and get out quietly. And be sure not to kill any Meyer Lurks inside their nest. If you do, it could ruin the validity of the study. So I've got to sneak in without um without them finding me. I don't know if I have enough sneaking skill to do that. Optional. That's optional, though. We don't have to not kill them. It's just preferable if we don't kill them. Which is good, because I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it without killing them, to be honest. Do, do, do. I think the music I had on seems to have gone away. One sec. That's because... Am I sieving here? What do you mean? Do you mean am I going to end up being here for a very long time? I'm I'm going to do I'm probably going to do this mission, and then I'll finish up. I think. Well, it depends how far away it is. Let's see how far away this Marlurk layer is. Although I might just finish up then if that's the. Oh, it's not far away. We'll do this, and then I will finish it up there. Welcome to Vegas. Yeah, that's it. Keep your. Um, weapons. We have to fix that sniper rifle as well. I know, I know, I know. This is that thing, this is that thing, isn't it? You know, oh, just one more. Oh, just one more. No, I will definitely make this the last one. <laughs> I'll definitely make this the last one, because it's not far away. If it had been, like, really far away, I'd have probably stopped there and then, to be honest, but... Like, if it was on the other side of the map, it wouldn't even be worth bothering. Da -da -dum, da -da. This is how you're supposed to walk around in Morrowind. That's how you walk around in Morrowind. Just like that. Boing, boing, boing. Oh. I missed both shots. There we go. That's how you walk around in Morrowind. Just bounce. So you can increase your athletic score. <laughs> Bunny hopping all over the place. On one condition. That this is the last mission that I do. <laughs> Whoop. There's a vicious dog there. It said that it would kill it, but it didn't. There we go. What's the condition? Bunny hop in. Bouncy, bouncy. Need to be careful, though. There could be enemies nearby. There could be enemies. Can we read Desi where I was playing New Vegas? As I said hello hours ago, and she's probably wondering why you're so quiet today. Yeah, absolutely. 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 I don't know if it's the same for you, but this to me is one of those games where I could I could honestly play it for ages. I need to get down. I will do that. I need to finish anyway. So, so we'll do this mission and then we'll do it. Been detected. What detected me? There's a guy. That's the wee boy that's going to tell me about the ants. Those monsters, they're, they're going to get me. Those what? What's the matter? Those things. The things. They scare me. Make it stop. Um, it's okay. I'm a big tough guy. I can take care of you. Yeah, okay. Let's do that. You look stronger than all the other grown-ups. Can you... Can, can I you protect, protect him? Me? Um, I'd like to help. I need to know more. Big things. They're all overgraded. Yeah, no, it's all, doesn't it? <laughs> if you don't. Please, I mean, Skyrim. I love Skyrim, though. 
Okay, I'll go look for your dad. My house is the one closest to the huge sign and the old diner. And by the way, he's followed me miles. Find my papa and make him come back. So I don't know when he started following me, but Well, there is the personal shelter next to the old diner. I can't remember if it's a good idea for him to hide in there. I'll head over there. I can't remember if that's safe. I can't remember if letting him hide in that shelter is the thing to do. Those as opposed to them. I think it's them that's the giant ant film, isn't it? Well, there's a shack there. Um, this is Wilhelm's Wharf. I'm trying to remember. Do I have to go under the water to do this? Well, it's on the other side of the water. Okay, it's over there. We will need to swim. We will need to swim. I still, I still quite like Fallout 4, but I know that it's not as popular as the other games, as these games. I do, and I do prefer, I do prefer probably. I don't know whether I prefer this one or New Vegas. I think they're both good. They're both really good. Swim when you're winning, yep. Yeah. Oh, that's right. It's this place that's full of bloody mire lurks. I don't know that I can get past these mire lurks. Let's save the game. There's where I uh, tried to kill all the children of Atom. I think New Vegas is probably better for like the storyline kind of side of things. It's the Art Anchorage Memorial. Right, here we go. So we don't actually want to kill the mire lurks. We actually want to avoid them if we can. Can't remember where I need to go to do this. My lurk. I don't think there's any way we can do this without killing my lurks. Oh, you fucker. Yeah, we can't do this without killing them, I'm afraid. The problem with these things is that their armor makes it difficult to kill them. Oh, we're gonna be in trouble. I'm going to have to change guns. That was the worst weapon to set up to start off with. Um, I don't think I have any ammo for the... Oh, a hunting rifle. When did I get that? I think I might die in a second. <laughs> We're not getting by without shooting it, I'm afraid. That'll do barely any damage to the torso. Did I find it in a bin? This thing does a lot of damage as well. Look at that, I mean it's basically wiped me out there. I'm hoping that's enough to kill it. I said it would be, but it lied. So we failed the optional objective. See, mire lurks are difficult because they have pretty solid armor around their bodies. There's a lot of guys lying around here too. I don't need another 32 pistol. Need to be careful though. As you can see, you have to use an awful lot of um, ammunition to get rid of those things. Note for Ted. Ted got a note. What's the note? Note for Ted. Marlocks busted out the storage area and have been raising health through the whole facility. They get smarter every day. Blah, blah, blah. Anything in here? No, we're safe. I'm not sure this gun's the best option. I can't even remember where we have to go in here to get to do it. I feel like their um, their nest must be underneath, must be down. 
below rather than on this level. I've done this mission in the past, I'm sure. I just can't remember exactly where I need to go. Uh, does this take me back outside? Is this the way that I came in? I think that's the way I came in. Okay, so now we know. And knowing is half the battle. Do, 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 do. Yeah, because that's the way we came in. And we did that room, we did that room. And there's another door over here. To the, to the bay. Oh shit. This is the place, but... We need to be careful now. If any of them see us, we're basically fucked. Yeah, there it is. Danger. High voltage. Oops. It looks like it's carrying a gun. It's running away though. Hey, if it's running away, I should be doing extra damage to it. Maybe it's not running away, maybe it's just finding a way to get to me. There it is, look. Oh shit, there's another one. How many are there, do you think? I'm stuck. Well, this was a bad idea. This was a this was the worst idea. Okay, we're safe. Do you think they do 200% extra damage on me because I'm retreating? What the fuck? I shouldn't just run backwards. I need to watch what's behind me if I'm going to do that. Oh shit, there is a third one. Oh shit, and I fell down some stairs. Oops. Reload. Are they coming? Uh, let's see if we can shoot it in the face. Didn't kill it. But one more shot will. That's one. We're going to end up killing all of them and then there's going to be no, uh, no data to, to send back. going to be no data for her to send back because all the Mirelurks will be dead. There we go, one left. Where is it? Where is it? Is it trying to is it trying to sneak up on me? Where is it? There he is. That reload's a bit of a nightmare. Woo! He did like a lunge at me there. I've only got... F Shit. I've only got nine rounds left. Missed with that shot. The good news is that really hurt it. That really hurt it, but... Just try this. Oops. Reload. They're just standing there waiting for me to reload. That's nice of it, isn't it? Right, there we go. We've used up our ammunition now. Right, I think we're good. I don't know if I need to go down. Yeah, down there is where I need to go. I mean, she's not going to be too happy because I have just killed every single Marlurk that was in here. But I didn't really have much of a choice. I'm afraid. Is this the place? I thought this was where I needed to go. 
Oh no, what have I done? What is that over there? Cannot wait when enemies are nearby. The trouble is it doesn't tell me where exactly I need to go. So I don't know if it was... Where does it say I need to do this? Place the observer in the spawning pod. In a spawning pod. What is a spawning pod? Is that that? There we go. Hide the observing thing and we'll just leave. Now we can just get out of here. We'll go back the way we came. <laughs> yeah, it was marked as my current mission. I guess it just didn't want to tell me exactly where to go. Which is fine. We managed to work it out. I'm pretty sure that was like a Mirelurk King down there or something that I don't want to fight right now. Because I had barely enough ammo, I don't think. There we go. We're good. So yeah, we'll go out. We'll fast travel back. That's not the right way. We'll fast travel back so we can finish off this part of the mission and then we'll finish. Do 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 There we go. Okay. I don't mind fast traveling to these places because We've done the... We did the walk-in to get there. Yeah, I'm putting my gun away, don't worry. One or the other, I don't care. Wah! This seems like a very steep path. And the Brahmins are... mooing. Let's just do the waiting game. Just gonna stand outside the door for 11 hours. <laughs> Just getting in the queue early, you know. For the new Wasteland phone. Where is she? I got my eye on you. Good on you, mate. You do that at KFC? Just wait outside? For 11 hours? Where is she? She needs to come so I can turn in the mission. What, what she thinks, what, you know. Watch it, will you? People are trying to do business here, what? What does she think she's doing? Oh, maybe she's this way. Maybe she's upstairs. There she is. Hey! So are they intelligent? Wait an hour. A leader? Some sort of king? Or priests? Or some sort of scaly community center? I don't think they do. I'll set the observer, but I don't think they'll forget my visit anytime oh, soon. No. You didn't rile them up, did you? Because I'm not getting a very good signal from the observer. Or maybe because I killed half of them. It in the mud. Oh, I really hope that was just. Was it mud. just mud? Anyway, you saw them at least a bit. What are your observations? What are my observations about, about the mirelurks? I wants to say they're crabs. They're delicious and nutritious. There you go. I'm sure it's an acquired taste. I mean, it wouldn't technically be cannibalism. It wouldn't right technically be cannibalism. It wouldn't be cannibalism in any way. I wish we could have Not more information. technical or otherwise. This will have to do for the book. Here's your Why did she say it wouldn't technically be cannibalism? Next time. Awesome. Oh, we got the stealth boys. They would have been really useful, yeah. Let's mark right. this as... I never get to study anyone who's severely injured. Yeah, we'll skip that. But obviously, you can handle a lot of abuse. So if I'm ever going to find a good example of human anatomy and injury resistance... We'll just see what this says. Next time you get badly injured... Next time I get badly injured, come back. Okay, well that's easy. Wow. When you're ready, come back here with some... I'll be waiting here with plenty of bandages. There we go. Okay. So all we have to do... I'll buy whatever you're selling. ...is get an injury where one of our limbs are crippled and have 50% health or less. I have less, do I have 50% health? Well, how do you feel? Well, lucky for you that I am. You wouldn't happen to have a... Oh, we can finish this mission now. I mean, I could have done the optional objective, but... I don't really feel like almost dying. 
How can you be walking around like this? Well, I don't know. I am. There you go. That's how it works. Okay. Is that it? No mess, no problem. I mean, that was easy. A bit of a mess, but no problem regardless. Here, you know, for the next time you get hurt and I'm not around. This chapter done yet? Oh, you. Still, I can put up There we go. We've managed to complete chapter two. And I get healed for that too. Here, nothing. Next chapter. Let's just find out what the next chapter is. It's about the survival of humanity. We'll just find out what this chapter is. And how to rebuild society. It's esoteric. Stuff, huh? We need to know how large settlements are formed. How to harness the old technology. And I'll need you to get they need to know how from a nearby library. Large settlements are formed. Now, oh, is this so one where we have to get the bit from like a space thing? First. Um, yeah, research in local history. Be so sure. You'd be surprised how confused people get even about important things. In this case, I'm talking about well, That's like miles away, isn't it? Most successful survivor settlement around. But no one here really knows how it started. Of course, that's why it's important. The last time I played through this game, succeeded. So I need to I, um, go there and do some researching. Kind of messed things up a bit. Uh sounds reasonable I'll research Rivet City. Oh, now I can't wait for what you find out down there. And check around to make sure you're hearing the real deal. The real deal. Okay. I have to go now. The info you're bringing in more ways than one. <laughs> oh, excuse me. In more ways than one. Let's overwrite that. So there we go. We played a bit of uh, we played a bit of Fallout Three. And uh, oh, let me just do something quickly. I just uh, coughed a bit there. Coughed a wee bit there, but we're okay. The game is gone. So the music that you were hearing, I say music, it's just noise. Honestly. But there we go, we finished up. We are done and dusted for the night. Did quite a lot of Fallout. I've been wanting to play that on stream for a while, to be honest. Um, so I'm glad that it went relatively well. Except when the game decided not to work for a minute there. So is the person you wanted me to raid still live? They are. Well, let's just do a wee raid then. Don't type it in. Don't type it in their channel. My goodness. I just went into their chat and then I was like, I was about to type it into their chat box. Let's go and visit Desi Wes. I have been there before, yes. Let's make that where we finish for tonight. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me play a bit of Fallout 3. I'll definitely be coming back to it. Definitely be coming back to it. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much. And um, I'll be back tomorrow for some Dead by Daylight. What more can I say? Thank you very much for watching and I will... Uh, See you next time, whenever that may be, hopefully tomorrow. Thank you to everyone who's been here, whether uh, whether you've been chatting, whether you've been lurking. It's been great to have you either way, and I hope you'll come back and enjoy more Fallout 3, some more Dead by Daylight, and lots of other stuff as well uh, in the days, weeks, months, and who knows, years to come. We'll see. <laughs> Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time. Good night for now.